1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On- Gonna warn everybody this morning, man. I'm still digesting what I ate last night. Stinky. Woof. What'd you eat, dude? I ate a W. That's what I ate, baby. A big fat 15 game streak beating W. That's what I ate. It was fantastic. Still burping it up this morning, and I'm fine with that. I haven't even taken off my wristband. I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this like when I had kids, till it gets all moldy and weird. Not the kids, the wristband. Why can't they do that against other teams? Dude, dude who did you just sound like? Oh, you sound like uh, the only dynamite. Lucky, lucky. Why couldn't they do that against? I do, Tina. How do you sound like you, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Well, good morning. That's Christopher Lodd. That's Jason Ross. And my favorite uh, hoodie. Of I just his. got it. It's new. Yeah, it's brand new. Uh, whatever, um, whatever uh, you do, or uh, oh no, you said you you do the laundry there, right? Either one, either one of us. Yeah. Uh, whatever detergent. But I'm you getting do. ready to come over to your house to fold clothes. Yes, it's a nice morning show bonding experience. Um, good morning, and and boy, isn't it? It's it, good to be with you. It is really good to be with you. I'm fired up this morning. I am. I am. I'm. I'm Let's gonna, go. I'm, gonna, I'm freaking jacked. Just absolutely jacked. This is uh, one of those. Hey, you know what? I do the show for a discount today. Not free. Not for. No, let's be honest. Let's not off. Do not let them know that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's contract time right yeah. now. Let's just <laughs> eh, do the show for maybe a slight discount today. But then uh, only if you pay me more other days. Yeah, you know what I'm for saying. For a cheeseburger on Tuesday. I gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah. Is that what it is? I yeah. Know. I don't know either. Uh, shout out Wimpy. Uh, <laughs> we don't shout out Wimpy enough. <laughs> um, you know, if there's anybody that, that wagers that listens to this show, if you really listen to us, you've had a great couple of weeks. You've had a wonderful couple of weeks. The Bucks were favored by one and a half yesterday. Yeah, they were. They didn't cover. They did not. At any point. Even at 0 0, they didn't. Right. They cover. never covered. Never. Wire to wire. And I came away from last night with one thought in my head, which is we should have swept them. <laughs> that wasn't my one thought. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That would be the negative thought. I did have that thought, but it was fleeting. It was a fleeting thought. I I found myself asking myself, self, was last night the most complete game of the year for this team? It's on the list, right? I mean, I don't know. Sure. I'm like, I don't have to debate it and say no. You just, you just annihilated uh, one of the, I'd say, top four teams in the NBA. Yeah. Fair. Yes. An- Actually, yes. annihilated. Them yeah, without a starter, right? You just and a bench player out in the second half. Yeah, we'll uh, update you on Trey Lyles if and when we find something out. He was uh, he was hurting last night. He tried to gut it out for a bit, and uh, woof. So yeah. this is the Kawodi so far. Hold on, complete completest complete win of the year. Yeah. You want M, M C, right? Yeah, I do, but M Quoty. M Quoty. M Quoty. M Quoty. Yes. <laughs> they won the game with a rubber band and a paper clip. The problem is he said Quoty. Three seconds, McQuoty. <laughs> the, the problem is he said Quoty, and I'm instantly thinking like something someone said. Yeah. Like that was a nice Quoty from Coach Brown. Well, Q-U. there was some good Quoties. There was, there's one in particular great Quoty that Chris played. No. <laughs> Short and sweet. Do you have that queued up, by the way? I, I could get it real quick. Please do. <laughs> Shout out to our old friend. And now fierce competitor, Kyle Madsen. Oh. I said old friend. Yeah. Like, we used to be friendly. Um, Can I do a, a 
stats check really fast? I would love that. Um, second game for you? Yes. Did they win the first game? Yes, they did. Two no. Did we talk a lot yesterday about struggles at home? A lot about struggles at home. Just think, just put that in the back of your head. You're you're thinking maybe that's the thing. I don't know. I can't prove that it's not. You've been there to two. What was the other game? Was oh, I think it was uh, was a uh, uh, it was the uh, was it an quotey? No, it was the Warriors. The one they the, the yeah the one they won. Yeah, as I, good I, of a win this. Wow. I will tell you one thing from last night though. It's, it's not sitting with me well. This is this is. I'm not making a joke now. Stinky. So we went with uh, our friends, and their seats are uh, right behind the uh, the visiting bench. Uh -huh. Okay. So at one point, because Coach Yeager's on the Buck staff. Yes. At one point, towards the end of the former game, former GQ model, former GQ model Dave Yeager. At one point. He, he's like turning around he's kind of turned around towards us looking at looking at one of the bench people and then he's like i feel like he's looking over my left shoulder and i thought we made eye contact for a second so i gave him like the head nod like hey there you are and then he just kind of and then he just kind of like he stayed looking and then he just kind of looked back forward and my wife caught it and I was like, oh, he, I, maybe, yeah, maybe he didn't see me or something. And and she goes, no, I think he saw you. I think he saw you. Were you. Seen? Uh, huh? You were seen. I think she thinks that we made eye contact and that he saw my head nod and was just like, yeah, no. Uh-uh. Not cool. And the problem there is that we haven't talked since he was let go. And I broke the story that he was let go. And then I went to sleep. And then I woke up and I had three missed calls from him. And then I called him back and he didn't pick up. And then I texted him a few times and he's never texted back. So it could be a perceived issue on that I'm perceiving. Maybe he just didn't, you know, he didn't always text back. He's a busy coach. Not at that time. Not at that time. He was very, un wow. Wow, geez. <laughs> I know. Wow. That was a quotey. Uh, hey. You don't not look at Dave like that. Did, right? I'm going to defend you. So I, I'm freaking jacked. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. Do I just let it go and it sits with me? At do, least you'll never remember it again. Do I, <laughs> dude, that's the thing. Do I text him and I'm like, hey, it was great to see you last oh, night. You had the game. Yes, text him now to see. Hey, I just want to, do you remember the game I last night? I don't want to be. Were you looking at me? I don't want to be feuding with Davey. I'm not feuding. It's not a feud. I don't want. I think he's ticked off. I don't want to be not friends with Dave Yeager. He, yeah. I like him a lot. I like Dave Yeager. I still, I very much like Does Dave Does he like you? I don't think he might. Yeah. But it wasn't my fault. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Could have answered the phone. I was sleeping. I do a morning show. And then I called him back. Like, the next morning I called him back. But maybe it's better that you didn't answer the call. I probably. Oh, no. Honestly. What do you think he wanted to say? I think. Okay. Uh, this is where it gets dangerous. Go this is where it gets dangerous because honestly, this could all be, this could all be perceived. And I don't, I don't want to put any thoughts or words in his mouth, but we had a really good relationship. And yeah. then I'm the guy that reported that Vlade was going to fire him after the Portland game. Well, you weren't wrong. I wasn't wrong. Yeah. But. Did like you did, want to tell him first? I that's what I'm saying. Like, did I did it's like did maybe did I break like a did he find out from you? I don't know, but I have a feeling he might have. Did you think he was gonna find out from you? They were on the road in Portland, they lost. I got the word, I reported it like I'm supposed to. I'm not like breaking news, I'm imagining guy. him getting on the plane and, and then that's what I think that's said, what I honestly this guy. That's what I think happened i thought we were friends i can't wait till i'm gonna visiting coach an opposing team and he sits somewhere near me and i'm, and I'm not, not gonna look at him not gonna kind look. Of look now at that him. i'm thinking about it i'm thinking he's talking to someone like what should i do if i see him at the game should <laughs> i'm I, sure that's what he should i just like what if go Michael off on here do i say anything no, no no that's that's giving him too much what if i just ignore him uh, but or, say, say? or maybe there is a world in which he's not mad and he looked at someone past He looked you. at someone past yeah. me, and there, none of this is a thing. And yeah. if I had made a point to see him afterwards in the hallway, it would have been like hugs and handshakes. Did you? And no, to no. Be, to be fair, I know someone that's got season tickets right in that area. Maybe they were looking at him. He is well known to the 
opposing. Does he have a giant beard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have yeah, I told yeah. you that story? I'm right in front of them every game. Have I told you that story with the uh, King's Bench? No. With oh. the, the puke game? No. <laughs> no. Do tell. Okay. So that one of the worst games ever. Yes. The puke Walton game. Yes. So at some point, that person, during a timeout, goes to the King's Bench and just rips into them like what are you doing who do you think you our, are our, our our bearded friend yes who do you think you are play with some heart at least try what is wrong with you just going absolutely off on the team what? So, so i find out about this and we've got a friend yeah. that works on the king's bench doug christie who uh-huh. comes in from time to time sure so I was telling Doug, I'm like, hey, do you remember that game? He's like, yeah, of course I remember the game. I said, do you happen to remember a fan yelling at the bench? And he says, no, I don't remember that. We don't really pay attention to anyone, any of the fans on the bench. We're working on. And then he pauses and said, wait, does he have a really big beard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So he's like, I know exactly who you're talking oh about. Oh, my God. I can't believe he did that. Like that is, I mean, he's fiery and all that, but he doesn't strike me as like. No, that this is guy. like the first time. Wow. Ever. <laughs> but like that would be the game to like break someone, right? Well, it may, literally made a dude lose his lunch on the court. <laughs> like that's how bad that game was. And Kings fans will recognize this guy. It's not like we're blowing him up. Big red beard. He's he's yeah, been to like every been, night almost. Every night there, he goes to a ton of, you know, like, oh, if he goes to a road game, we've seen him in, like, the front row before. And, uh, he's a great guy. I mean, I love love sitting with, with near those guys. It's a lot of high five and a lot of fun. But I, I'm, like, trying to visualize him doing that. Yeah. And I, I can't. It was one of those when the group found out, about, like, wait, what? Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh, was it, um, was it, uh, I'm sure it was, but was it, was it performance enhancement based? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Performance. <laughs> it happens. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Man. I, I don't know. So, don't text him. Like, don't text him. Just when was the last it. time you texted him? Way back then? I honestly God, don't know. Hold on. I, I What would be the text for now? Like. Uh, we good? Hey, uh, like, hey, great. So, seat, great. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't see you last night or talk to you last night. Sorry, I missed you last night. Great to see you. It was right behind you. I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but so glad to see you doing well uh, personally and, and, and health-wise. Take care. I mean, there's a very good chance he didn't recognize you, yeah. right? We've all had that where it's... But when you add it... Okay, okay. So I've sent him two texts since that night. Okay, that's I don't want to okay I want to be careful here because I don't want to like I don't want to like get in the privacy thing like some of this is oh, let me be careful I don't, but I don't wanna, also uh yeah. is there any chance of a new number yeah I guess maybe I should I'll verify I'll, I know somebody who would have his number I'll verify that uh but I I he texted me after the game I won't say what it said but it wasn't a mean text it was just like you know it was asked a question and then that was April 10th 2019. And then I woke up in the morning. I won't read the whole text I sent. Um, no, I will read the whole text I sent. That's that's okay. I, I would say this publicly. Coach, crashed last night after the game. Figured your phone was on fire today. I just want to say thank you for being such a class act uh, with the community and everyone else. I think you're a hell of a guy and a hell of a coach, and I appreciate your friendship and everything you've done for the team and the community. Uh, I hope we can still get that cribbage game in someday. He's a cribbage guy. I'm a cribbage guy. We talked about that before. Yikes. What? That's a bad text. I can understand why he didn't text you. I'm stupid. with you, Chris. You're stupid. <clears throat> and then he was on. I think a, he saw you now. And then the last, the, then that last text I sent him was the next day at 4:50 p.m. Um, we good? No, I, it was. I said. <laughs> just, I just said. Just heard you on what he. I guess he went on Grant show that afternoon. I said. Just heard heard you on with Grant. You're all class. Like uh, he said. Some. I remember that he said some really nice yeah. things about the community. But the last text I sent him apparently was October 26th of 2019 at 8.36 p.m. And it was a hand shrug emoji. I don't know what the context is there. I hope. Do you, do you think that's what whoever, it was? Whatever team he is working on, the Kings just curb stomped. <laughs> that's what it was. I don't By the know. way, what was last night? What was last night? Yeah. What do you mean? Curb stomp, dog walk, oh, uh, boat race. It was uh, bat flap. It was... Uh, 
All of them, maybe. That was a pounding. Oh. I think that's the appropriate yeah. word. That was an absolute. That They took them to Pound Town. Yeah. Mm, gross. Pound Town party of bucks. Woodshed. That was a woodshed. That was an old yeller moment. Yeah. Behind the barn. Like, that was. Wow. But actually, the public saw it. That is true. They did. Like, that was. Public guillotine. It was the biggest blowout in the league last night. Yeah. It was huge. You were there for it. I ate too much candy. At the game? I did. Hmm. I had, like, they had they had full packs of Lifesavers. Strike emoji. <laughs> like, full packs of Lifesavers. you eat more than one pack? Really? Hmm. Wait, are you just, like, what? Three packs of Lifesavers. <laughs> are you just chewing on them? The rolls? Yes. Uh, yeah, are you just, like, aren't they? Well, anyway. What? No, here's the thing. I you just put I one have, in a crunch and it's done. I have habits. When I'm at a game, I'm incredibly nervous. Uh, and I at need... what point did the nerves stop in that game? Nerves. <laughs> Mid fourth quarter, early fourth quarter. And, and we'll recap that today because we got a break. Uh oh, we'll recap that because I was putting uh I was putting polls out yesterday. And uh, you know, the the whole like, hey, the Kings are up twenty at the half. Will the Bucks win? Or if the Jaeger didn't like the polls. That's really gonna bother me, God. You know it will too. That's really, really gonna bother me. I, nice. I, I really love that man, and I, I don't want to live in a world where he doesn't. We're not friends. <laughs> I know, I know. We'll take a break. That's not, you know, weirdly enough, that is not the top story today. Let's focus more on the Kings Bucks. How about uh, that? Okay, if you want, uh, Kings Bucks, and. Uh, by the way, you know how like people will mess around and switch letters and be like, "Hey, luck the like if they play the Lakers." Like I, that doesn't work with the Bucks. You can't, you can't switch. I'll tell you during the break. Because you okay when we come back, when we come back, Kings win, Kings win, the 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 Kings win. They end a 15 game losing streak against the Bucks. Everybody's happy. We love it. We got a lot of stuff to cover today. We have guests today. Jim Les will join us after a win. That's fantastic. Katie Christensen will join us after a win. That's fantastic. You're all with us after a win. That's fantastic. On your home of the Sacramento Kings, Sat down. Sports. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year. All stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beam. Here's a steal by Fox. A breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. For a precision crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraOfStockton.com. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. Final seconds away, Kings fans thundering now. The like the beam chat as they come to their feet. And this one is over. And for the first time in eight years, since February of 2016, the Kings have broken a 15-game losing streak to the Milwaukee Bucks. And they do it with their most lopsided victory of the season, 129-94. to It is the fifth wire-to-wire win this year for Sacramento. 
joining games that were successful against Oklahoma City, the Lakers, the Brooklyn Nets, and the Utah Jazz. Microphone. How about Molly Watt? Somebody suggested. That works. That might be the term of the day. I think all of them are acceptable today. How does Molly feel about that? Uh, Getting whopped. She got whopped. Uh, what a game. What a game. What a result. I, 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 you know, I know we're all prisoners of the moment, time to time. I just, somebody find me a better situation this year. They, they're playing the Bucks. Giannis is playing. Um, you know, they're missing Middleton. I understand that. Dame Lillard held to what, 10 points, something like that. Something yeah, silly. they're great on him. Uh, they're, the Kings are missing a, uh, a starter in Keegan Murray, uh, you know, uh, Trey Lyles yep. uh, hurts his knee a little bit, and hopefully a little bit. We'll see. Yeah. Um, it was just that you know, you kept waiting for the inevitable <laughs> whatever. Yeah. There was no inevitable whatever. In fact, the only quarter that the, the Bucks outscored the Kings was in the third, and it was 22 to 20. And I think that's an important quarter because let's look in recent memory, Dave. If that's a typical – quarter like it's been happening when they've had these big leads let's say that's a 36 to 20 it's a game in the fourth quarter 100 they didn't only score 20 well they only gave up 22 and they're completely fine going into the fourth quarter uh turns out let's see 58 the kings hold the bucks to 64 points in the final three quarters yeah. 26 22 and 16 it was 38 30 after one it's just a complete performance yeah and for as much as We've been critical, fairly so, of these ups and downs and ups and downs. The best thing they've done is come back up, right? I mean, there's no denying the Rockets' loss was bad. Yes. The Pistons' loss, the Bulls' loss, the Heat loss, all these home losses that they've really given them a chance for momentum. To their credit, after those games, as frustrated as we've been, they've bounced back. Yeah, that's nice. We'll discuss this in three for madness because this team has been weirdly predictable mm -hmm. in ways they shouldn't be. I'm at a loss about tonight because they're, they're this doesn't match the, it does not match the patterns. Like they should be. If tonight was flipped with the last game of the homestand Memphis, then we go. Yeah. Pattern will be set tonight. Absolutely. But it's the Lakers It's Lakers and it is on the second night of a back to back, yeah. but it's the Lakers. I, I you know, I, I think if I had to pick a pattern, because the most consistent pattern has been up, down, up, down, up, down yeah. that the Kings lose tonight. Yeah. If I had to stick to that pattern, but I'm nowhere near as confident them in them losing tonight as I was confident in them winning yesterday. <laughs> also, one disappointing thing uh, from the game, and uh, this is a, a, a three in the key preview, but did you guys see Conan come in and hit his first two shots right away? Was it two or even three? Oh, well, he hit. Oh, it was three. He hit a two, a three, and a two. Yeah, and he had like, seven really? points in like thirty seconds. Yeah. Then he went the way of the box. That yeah, that was it. Yeah. I turned to my wife. And I was like, I predict this guy averages five points yeah. a game. I said today he was gonna he was gonna score fourteen or more. He's got seven in about thirty five yeah. seconds. It's on well on his way. He is well on his way. Also, does it take anything away from the win that uh, Thanasis Santa de Cumpo scored? I feel like that's a moral loss. Is it? I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't stop the Antetokounmpo's. We you can only hope to contain him. As a matter of fact, Thanasis and Giannis combined for 32 last night. Yes. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and later on today, we will talk about the play of the game. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen anything like, like that in person. I've never rewatched a video as soon as I possibly could as many different same, times to see same. the reactions. I still don't completely understand what happened. I don't either. I keep looking. Okay, we're There was a trampoline. We're talking about Andre Jackson Jr., the rookie, 22 years old, with a put-back dunk in the fourth. I was not in Oakland during the slam dunk contest involving Vince Carter when he stuck his arm in the rim. Yeah. But I have, I have rewatched that so much, and we have done so many segments on the crowd reaction after that Carter dunk. And I imagine it's very similar to what the crowd was doing last night. It wasn't, there was a few like, oh, but it was mostly like this murmuring of like, what the hell did we just yeah. see? His, he could have dunked it with his face. It's, he had to short arm dunk. It, yes, it's not hyperbole. It was, it was his lower neck was at the rim. Yeah, I honestly, I, I, it looks like he does hit his, like his, really? Seat. It oh looks my God. like it. I don't know that he, I mean, 
He had to turn his head to yes. the side to make sure he didn't like decapitate. You're like, did, did he jump? Did he jump off someone's hip? Yeah, I still think Brooke Lopez was down there and he jumped <laughs> off of him. <laughs> Wee! By the way, hey, n- not for nothing. I know we got to move on. Eh, dumb question here. Is that illegal? I don't think so. Like, for example, if Brooke, what's the call? If a dude had the ball at half court and was driving, and Brooke Lopez just went down to his hands and knees at, at the free throw yeah. line. And dude sprung off of Brooke Lopez's back for the dunk. I Re- feel like that has to be illegal, right? In the key. <laughs> That's got to be. What's a- the whistle? What is it? Right. What uh, is eh. Assisting. Cut number two, please. Cut number two. Minute 37 and counting. Here comes Fox. The floater. He's got the bucket. He's tied his career high. 44 points for De'Aaron Fox. Just an amazing performance tonight in Los Angeles. Spin move, Reeves inside, skips the pass outside. I I, I don't want to say nothing, but I think if De'Aaron Fox ties or breaks his career high tonight, the Kings are going to have a good chance of winning. I agree with you on that. Uh, against the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, uh, they come into town. Ew, you can smell them already. <laughs> 7 p.m., and this is an Aspen game tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. ESPN. <laughs> be nice to hear a sweep L.A. chant. Uh, would be one. I would like a light the beam chant in the second quarter. Okay. Because it's an 87-point lead. You know, it's funny. Last night of all nights, you're like, they, they probably could do this a lot earlier. But everybody was like, mm, hang on. Let's wait for it to get to 35. You were working. So I don't know if you were you were tuned enough to this part of the game to, to notice. I think any time in the second half, the Bucks went on a 4-0 run, the energy immediately dropped at yeah. the arena. Yeah. Like, and I get it. Everyone was just, we're all just waiting. Yeah. We're waiting for them to come back. It's funny. Like, I think it, the lowest it got was 14. Mm-hmm. And I know people were nervous. Understandably. Yeah. Because, and it's 14. Like, if you could have said before the show or before the game, excuse me, hey, any time tonight in the second half, they're going to be at 14. And it would have been, oh, no. What uh, Are they going to lose by eight? Yeah. If they were 14 yeah. and people were uncomfortable. And then it got 100%. back to 20-something. We'll take a break here. I'll do this early because I just saw it. Uh, gentlemen, as we break here, let's play our fun game right now. The Lakers visit the Sacramento Kings tonight. Kings off this big win. Lakers have had a couple pretty decent wins. ESPN game. Who is favored and by how much? A little thrown off by this one because I think there's such a love for the Lakers. Kings have a better record. They've swept them. They played last night. Uh, all right, let's do it. Kings by three and a half. I'm going to say it is a pick em. It is a pick Oh, that's a big discrepancy for Chris and I. It is a one and a half point spread. Lakers? For the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm pretty sure the Kings. Honestly, why? Because I think the Kings reputation has finally reached Vegas. I think it's part of what you said. People love the Lakers, but I think we've talked about it. I think the reputation has reached Vegas. They're looking for a Kings letdown tonight. And if I'm Mike Brown, I'm circling this and I'm making sure everybody sees it at their locker tonight. It didn't hit Vegas last night. It did not hit Vegas last night. Kings were underdogs by one and a half. It was two and a half and dropped to one and a half by the end of the show. When we come back, we'll go around the NBA, the Knicks, Throw it back to the 80s and 90s. Could an old friend help out the Sacramento Kings? And much more, including a possible big injury uh, affecting the Western Conference playoff race. We'll get to all that next on Sacktown Sports. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SacktownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No. We tailor our clients' portfolios to their goals and needs. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We're a fiduciary, the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. It means we're obligated to act in our clients' best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? 
Yep, we have one transparent management fee structured, so we do better when our clients do better. Sounds like you really look out for your clients. We do, because our priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. That might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly, different money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. I am James, senior apparel designer, and this is Behind the Design with Hawks. Hawks is your classic workwear brand. It's designed for those guys that are on the job site. Just driven performance, just rugged and comfortable. Thinking of durability, everything is either double, triple stitched, bar tacked. It's build durable. It's going to perform. It's going to move with you. It's going to have everything that you need in a product. Hawks, only at Boot Barn. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's, It's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville. Get ready for an extraordinary showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup. Experience the latest in cutting edge technology, innovative features, and the sleek Kia design that defines excellence. During March Mania, we're excited to offer unbeatable lease options on our top models. Step into the future with the all new Kia Sportage, where captivating design meets exhilarating performance. Explore the remarkable fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that extends your journey with every mile. Discover the luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, seamlessly blending sophistication with practicality. Don't miss our eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, perfect for those who prioritize efficiency without compromising on style. And with the EV9 in stock, Kia of Vacaville is your destination for electric excitement. Visit us today during March Mania and take advantage of exclusive lease deals and special offers. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. Please visit the Kia of Vacaville for more details. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at Power Copier. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. The only place you'll find King and Murray is Sacktown Sports. Out to King and Murray, straight away for three and King. Hey Sacramento, it's Keegan Murray, and you're listening to the home of Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. The Minnesota Timberwolves 
without Carl Anthony Towns. Are they better? Well, they beat the Clippers 118-100, Jason, but let's go uh, Let's go inside the game, shall we? Let's do it. Since the 2000-2001 season, there have been over 5,500 instances of an NBA team falling behind by 22 or more, more points on the road, including playoffs. The Timberwolves are the only one of those teams not only to come back, not only to take the lead, but to establish a 22 or higher point lead themselves. Wow. That's what they did to the Clippers last night. They win 118 to 100. So, you know, it's it's not time to start looking at the T-Wolves yet. Let's not start all showering together. But at the same time, you know, it's, you know, you want to keep an eye on them because they've been struggling, obviously. Uh, the Nuggets, they have tied the Thunder. That's coming. That's, uh, that's. The champs that took them all season, mostly, but they're there. They are 45 and 20, the second best record in the league, along with the Thunder, because the Celtics. Uh, they won. They are now 51 and Woo! 14, 29 and three at home, by yeah. the way. Uh, Kings still have to go there. Kings still have to go to Boston. Um, thanks to old friend Tyrese Halliburton and the Indiana Pacers uh, as they beat the Thunder. I, you know, thank you, but yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're probably okay. a little out of reach. Um, and uh, the Knicks are. They're doing some things right now. Doing some things yes. right now. They absolutely, the second biggest blowout of the night was the Knicks by 27 over the Philadelphia 76ers, who scored per quarter the following 14, 27, 20, and 18. That's 79 points. Yeah. That's the third straight opponent the Knicks have held under 80 points. Yeah, including Philly two days ago, and they lost to Philly. Yeah. That, so they're 2-1 and one in this stretch, but to hold a team under 80, like 100 is a feat this now. 100 is. If the Kings holding the punt like last night, yeah. it's like, oh, my God, that's great. Right. And so keep in mind, so under 80, the Kings at 75 at the half yesterday. That's insane. That's actually insane yeah. when you compare the two. Right. They lost to Philly a few nights ago, 79-73. I thought they, I'm like, wait, where's the fourth quarter? Where's the they fourth quarter? They didn't print that thing right. There, I guarantee you, uh, we'd have to look it up. There's, there has to have been at least a handful of total points in the first half games that yeah, were 79-73. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and then they beat Orlando 98-74 uh, <sighs> the game before that. So it, it's interesting. I, I, I got to take a look. And Tom Thibodeau's teams are always going to play them twice. Yeah. We haven't even that, played the Knicks yet. Yeah, they're they're coming here uh, fairly Saturday. soon. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. Uh, let's look at uh, where the Knicks are in the league. Uh, yeah, they're second. It, the funny thing is, they're uh, they're one they're one point six points behind or ahead of the Timberwolves. The Knicks have given up the second most points uh, in the league. The Timberwolves, the least amount of points. Here's an interesting one, Jason. You know who's given up the third least amount of points in the league this year? I I love putting you on the spot. I'm going to put the over under at nine and a half teams that you will have to name before you get to this team. All right. So you said the first two I did. So you got 28 to go and I'm calling nine, almost a third nine and a half teams. So I, you win. If you can get it nine or lower, I mean, you got a lot to work with. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I know the numbers. Everyone's right along. I'm going to say the Rockets, the Rockets, the Houston Rockets. No, but they are right. top 10. Um, or bottom 10, whatever you said. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go with Miami. The Miami Heat. That's a great guess. The Miami Heat are sixth. Okay. Let's go with. Problem is, I built it up. So, like the obvious ones, right? You're probably not going to want to guess yeah. now. Yeah. Maybe I'm, but maybe, hey, maybe I'm doing a dipsy doodle. Um, It's Minnesota. You already gave us Minnesota in the and the Knicks. You've already guessed uh, two of the top 10. Cleveland? The Cleveland Cavaliers are fifth. Uh, getting closer. Mm. Um, I don't think I have it. The Orlando Magic. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have guessed that. Right? Yeah. The Orlando Magic have given up the third fewest wow. points in the league. By the way, their coach signing a nice extension there uh, yesterday as well. Well-deserved. I would not have guessed the Orlando Magic, who, by the way, have also 
scored the fifth least amount of yeah. points in the league. But the Orlando Magic, how about that? Uh, just in case you're wondering, by the way, we can check in. The Sacramento Kings are now up to eighth uh, in the league or down to eighth in uh, points scored. And uh, let's see, one, two, great radio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. The Kings are now 21st in okay. defense. Okay. Uh, Which is an improvement. Mike Brown said they would be better than whatever they were, 29th? Or yeah, 29th, 28th, 28th, something like that. So, look. Uh, the last uh, night helped? The last night did help. And in case you're wondering where the Kings stand, Idle Phoenix last night, uh, the Kings a half game behind the Suns, a half game ahead of the Mavericks and two games ahead of the Lakers. So depending on how everything works out tonight, uh, the Kings could find themselves, worst case scenario, in eighth place, just a game ahead of the Lakers. Or they could find themselves, let's see, uh, who is Phoenix playing? They don't play today, but they play the Celtics in Boston tomorrow. Oh. So. So odds are, heavy odds are, if the Kings were to win tonight, they would have a half game lead uh, at the close of business tomorrow yeah. over the uh, over the Phoenix Suns. Okay, gotta take care of business tonight. Gotta take care of this. Yeah, let's not start having delusions of grandeur yeah. like Dave Cavill. Right. You know, we we got to take care of business tonight. And LeBron's coming in, and Anthony Davis is coming in, and they're hungry, and they had a really good win. Uh, the other night, as a matter of fact, they've won two in a row, two real quality wins, Milwaukee, Minnesota. And by the way, you want to talk about a little bit of a gauntlet for them. The Lakers last five games, Jason, all home games, Denver, OKC, Sacramento, Milwaukee, and Minnesota. And they are three and two in those games with wins over the Thunder. They beat the Bucks as well by one. (laughs) And uh, they beat Minnesota by 11 uh, back on Sunday. So the yeah. Lakers have had three days off. Wonder what LeBron was doing last night in Sacramento. Probably hanging out with Sawyer. Maybe he went to the game. Did anybody maybe, see him? Maybe he saw him. Maybe. Yeah. You think he does that on occasion where he'll just do like, could he do? Could LeBron James? Is there a disguise good enough out there? I doubt it. For LeBron. I mean, you can't hide the height. Right. And he, it's not like he pull off like Groucho Marx glasses or something. <laughs> Like, he'd have to do, like, a full Hollywood makeup yeah. thing. Yeah. And aren't they in a thing where they're, like, they don't even leave California for a while? Uh, they, they, play, came here. they play Sacramento tonight and then Golden State uh, on Saturday. The last time they left California was uh, February 25th in Phoenix. Then uh, they played the Clippers on the road. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. February, What's after the Warriors? Uh, after the Warriors. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice that. You're right. Yeah. They're home. Uh, my God. Home Atlanta. Home Philly. Home Indiana. Then they go to Milwaukee there March 26th, which means that for a full calendar month, they don't leave California. Nice stat, Jason Ross. Stat of the day nominee. Uh, Bro- we'll enter it. Yeah, we'll yeah. enter it in there. Brought yeah. to you back, Crumble Cookies. Yes. We'll take a break. When we come back. So, so far we have that, and we have uh, the Timberwolves coming back from 22 down. Yeah. All right. I like your stat better. That's in the lead right now. Okay. When we come back, the Kings undermanned. Doesn't matter. They win. And we've got De'Aaron Fox talking about the contributions of Keon Ellis. Was he the missing link? Was he the missing link? We'll do all that next. The only place you'll find Keegan Murray is Sacktown Sports. Out to Keegan Murray. Straight away for three and Keegan knocks down the triple. Hey, Sacramento. It's Keegan Murray. And you're listening to the home of Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Hey, guys. Do you know your T-level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Woodhull Renishings, and RVs of Sacramento. 
It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford, right here in Sacramento. You can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton and Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle, as a pedestrian, in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton and Price in your corner. When you call Ashton and Price, there's no chat bot telling you to hit three for accounting. You're greeted by a real live person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? And you were a bit surprised at how much it costs, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area. A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. That's why. Why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. Morning, Mike. Oh, hello. What are you glued to, Cameron? Uh, just your screen, unfortunately. Unfortunately? What do you do for a living, well, Cameron? I'm a carpenter. A carpenter, right. So how safe is that for the climate? Well, I work with timber, which is a much more sustainable material rather than concrete. I also but you work with trees out. that have been cut down then, don't you? It's a sustainable building practice. How is it sustainable if you're killing trees? Because it's regenerative, you can grow trees. Right. Well, you can you can grow all sorts of things, can't you? Well, you can't grow concrete. You can. See you, Cameron. British people are funny. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> if you have a confident-sounding British voice, Americans will believe you on everything. Why do you think like all the wizards are British in movies? You know what I'm saying? That. Part. You know, if Gandalf had been like, y'all can't pass. Hey, don't do If he'd had a southern accent. Sassy southern accent. Yeah. yeah. Every, hey, y'all can't pass. Then 100%. Everyone would have passed. Everyone would have passed. That's and then you like Harry Potter. Hmm. Hey, you're a wizard, Harry. 
wait, that's not a good country accent, is it? Is that what that was? You're a hey, you're a wizard, Harry. Hey, Harry, you you're a wizard, Harry. Harry, no, I'm not good at country accents. I'm not good at any accent. I am good at being really, really happy after a Kings win. Should yeah. I say giddy? Actually, I probably shouldn't say that. But you know, <laughs> another word, <laughs> I am okay. I I'm ecstatic after uh, after Kings wins, especially uh, last night against the Bucks. Someone told me the Bucks were good. Hmm. Ah! Prove it. I mean, look, wire to wire. And out of wins sometimes, you know, out of losses, but also out of wins sometimes come questions. Yeah. Questions that need to be asked. If you took a popularity poll of all the Sacramento Kings, if you were to tell me Keegan Murray would win that popularity contest, I'd, I'd be slightly surprised. I think it'd probably be Fox or Sabonis, but. Yeah, but Keegan's very likable. Nobody dislikes yeah. Keegan Murray. Yeah. And I do really believe he is the future of this team. Yeah. A big part of it. And that was another thing entering the game. You go, oh, man, he's out. Like, he would have spent some time on Lillard. He would spend some time on Giannis. Mm-hmm. I think this could be a this could be a big deal tonight. Well, he didn't play last night. Yeah. So Keon Ellis had to step in. Yeah. The Kings are now 3-2. and two without Keegan Murray. Okay, so that's nice. The Kings are now 5 and 0 oh when Keon Ellis starts. And he started at like the point, the off guard basically and yesterday, I don't know. I guess it was off guard. Is it time? I love sports radio. Is it time to look at starting Keon Ellis? Okay, in all seriousness, I know it's not time to bench Keegan Murray, but here's a question for you. You know, the whole thing about like, well, if we take Monk off, then okay, fine. Well, what if you what if you go what if you go with Fox, Monk, Ellis, and then uh Sabonis and Barnes, and now you have Herder and Keegan Murray coming off the bench. Does, okay. does that help with the whole <laughs> we don't want to take Monk out of the second unit thing? I mean, Keegan Murray's not gonna get mad. He's gonna be like, no. okay, oh, okay. Keegan, no. <laughs> Coach was asked if Keon would be a more permanent role. On he was. He was asked that. about that. He or? was. I've got the audio here. Thanks, thanks, Chris. Let's uh, let's roll tape on that. Hey, Mike. Um, you mentioned that you guys are five and zero with Keon Ellis in the starting lineup, and it feels like. A- Hold on, that sounds familiar. I, I recognize that. Hey, is that old friend now? Uh, fierce competitor, Kyle Madsen. Fierce, fierce competitor. The hated Kyle Madsen. Let's see. Hey, Mike. Um, you mentioned. Hey, Mike. That- hey, Mike. <laughs> Kids are, hey Mike. Hey Mike. Um, you mentioned that you guys are five and zero with Keon Ellis in the starting lineup, and it feels like a lot of what he brings is pretty sustainable. Is that a change you've considered uh, making permanent? No. <laughs> no. No. Guess that's a no. Next. Poor Kyle. We want to have fun with that, but also at the same time, like he asked the question. Yeah, it's not an inappropriate question. Not at all. It's just a question that Mike Brown felt five and oh. Five and oh. Yeah. Mike Brown felt very no. Final no. question of the press conference. Was that what did shut that, it down? Did that <laughs> shut it down? Oh, Is it a walk off? Shut it down, big man. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Poor Kyle. Shutting down press conferences left and right. The Aaron Fox was asked about Keon Ellis. Yeah. And uh, here's what he had to say. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say that's, I think uh, a lot of that had to do with Keon, just being able to press the ball. He's long, at very active. Um, he's able to get through screens. Uh, I think he was big for us. And then obviously when Davion's on him, uh, just continuing to pressure the ball, getting through screens, fighting, just making him have to work. Uh, I think those two guys were, were, were big, for, were big on him tonight. And obviously uh, there are times where we got lucky that that happens. Uh, you're not going to, every single shot won't, you can't contest every single shot. There are times where you just have to you have to get lucky, but I think we did a great job on him tonight. That was on defending Dame. I mean, 10 points. He was a non-factor. Non-factor. Absolute non-factor. Well, you know what? I would argue this. If his name wasn't Dame Lillard, we're looking at the box score, he was a factor in, in the negative way. True. Two of 12 on the night uh, in 33 minutes, 10 points. He did have six assists and five rebounds to go with a block and two turnovers, so he was trying to do other things. One of six from behind the arc. That is an absolute shutdown. Yeah. 
Impressive. of Dame Lillard. And, and, and look, let me let's also give Dame credit too. He probably, you know, look, brass tacks, end of a road trip for the Bucks. Uh, Doc Rivers had mentioned uh, in the post game that they had guys that shoot around asking when the plane leaves. He said, it's my fault. I did not have these guys mentally prepared for this game. We deserve to get our oops kicked. Um, and that's not taking credit away from the Kings. The Kings saw a, a wounded animal. It's a buck. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was limping. And uh, and they took advantage of it. And, and yeah, you're going to have off nights sometimes. Uh, and, and, and they took advantage of that. And they never gave the Bucks the confidence to go, oh, I'm finding my stroke now. Let's right. go. Because we all know Dame Lillard could have two points at the half and end with 36. Exactly. He's at that. That is not out of the mark for right. Damian Lillard. That never happened. He never got going. Uh, and Dame was one of two, three starters, I should say, uh, in double figures. Four total for the game. Bobby Porter's had 11. Uh, Malik Beasley had 11. Uh, Dame Lillard, 10. And, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo with 30. Uh, Bobby Porter's came over. He came over to the uh, the scorer's table. He's one of those guys that always needs to put the chalk on. Mm -hmm. So he comes over at one point. And I go, hey, Bobby. And he, because I'll, I'll yell at players, like, a lot. Hey. And, you know, they don't notice. I go, hey, Bobby. He looks, he, like, he looks right up. Like, it's like his old friend, Billy. Mm -hmm. And we make eye contact. And I didn't expect it. So I was like, I just waved. A little way back, just a little way little? back and left in the mic. Yeah. yeah, and then my wife's just dragging me the whole time. Maybe he went back to the bench and told Jaeger. And Jaeger. Oh no. What's up with that? Hey, dude? is that your guy? Yeah. Hi saying a hi to us when we're yeah. down 26. The guy you're not texting back. That was, that was maybe my most pleasant opposing team player interaction since Charlie Villanueva stole. Remember when Charlie Villanueva stole some of my popcorn? Do you remember that game yes. when he reached in during yeah. the game, just during a break and grabbed a handful of pot? That was pre-COVID, by the way. Charlie B. We'll take a break when we come back. Uh, Jim Les. Yes. UC Davis basketball coach. Big, big, big times for them. They are the two seed in the Big West tournament. They get the double bye, and uh, they've got a semifinal match Friday night. Sacktown Sports, 8.30. They need two wins. And they're going dancing. Baby. They're going dancing. We are crossing everything on our bodies for that one. We'll talk to Coach Les about that and more coming up next. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. Sacramento Weather is brought to you by Arnold Law I'm Firm. Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're looking at a cool start to the day. Heading into the afternoon, we will be bright and a bit breezy. Expect those north winds about 5 to 15 with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRE 3 News and the KCRE 3 app. The recent storm has caused dangerous driving conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Chad, what's going on for Dodge Power Shot Days? A special sale on the very last of the new 2020. 23 Dodge Charger and Challengers with savings up to 12,000 off MSRP. That means you can save up to 33% on some classic American muscle starting as low as 24,520. Don't miss your chance to own a piece of history with the very last of the V8 scat packs. Wow, up to 33% off. Hey, that seems impossible. We do things a little different here at Hoblet. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or fees. At Hoblet, you get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. There's no better time to take advantage of this savings at Hoblet. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 12,000 total net savings after 6330 factory rebates and 5580 dealer discounts. Rebates may include 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be current member of eligible first responder association and California resident. 20th net savings. See dealer for details. 
urgent Camp Lejeune settlement message. On September 6th, the government announced it will soon begin providing fast, guaranteed settlements to Camp Lejeune Marines, families, and civilians. Awards will range between $100,000 and $550,000, with an option for higher amounts. If you or a loved one spent time at Camp Lejeune and suffered cancers of the bladder, liver, or kidneys, leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's, or kidney issues, you may qualify for compensation and could be paid within 60 days after accepting your settlement with your VA benefits fully protected. You may be entitled to a significant financial award for your Camp Lejeune claim, but you must act now. Call the James Harris Law Camp Lejeune helpline now to get the compensation you deserve. We're already fighting for thousands harmed by the water at Camp Lejeune. Call now or you may forever lose your right to be awarded a settlement between $100,000 and $550,000. For your free evaluation, call 800-377-6363. 800-377-6363. 800-377-6363. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan auto pay stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the beam team. Can we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. Sit down, sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. You know what happens after big wins. The hours fly by. We're already in hour number two. And coming up, text to win. Tickets to go see the Kings in Memphis. We'll give you the keyword. Yep. You'll text it in and yay. Later this hour, right? Later this hour. As a matter of fact, let me grab my branded Sacktown Sports pen. And uh um, start at 730. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Having a fun text back and forth, by the way, with our old friend Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Shout of the day. Joining us right now. So big win last night for the Kings. Yeah. But you know what? Rear view mirror, as they say. Yeah. Because there's more. There's the Lakers tonight. And I would argue even more importantly, a couple of games coming up, uh, including this Friday night, 830 at Sacktown Sports, as our beloved UC Davis Aggies start the first of what we hope are their two wins in a row after the double buy that they earned. And I look, I saw him play. Jim Les was one of my favorite players. I've never seen him at a wedding or in a ballroom, but I'm just going to guess because we've seen it before. This guy knows how to dance <laughs> and I want to see him and his team dancing again. We, two wins away. Two wins away. We welcome him in right. But you know what, Jason? Yeah. You look at the game in front the of first you. First one, Friday night. You, you don't look ahead That's to right. the second game or the dance. You got to take care of what's in front of you. 8.30, Friday, Sacktown Sports. Coach Jim Les joins us. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. There's nothing better than March. No. So can you dance, Coach? 
Yeah, can you? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you like us where it's like you're just waiting for the slow? You can do the like slow dance, rock back and forth thing, but once the uh, once Chubby Checker hits or whatever, you're sitting down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hiding in the corner. <laughs> the rest of you guys. Coach, uh, let's just start with a general question. And, of course, we get that you've got a job right in front of you, and that's that's what we want to focus on. But, it, it, honestly, does having gone through the process and – and gotten to the big dance, whether it's just colloquial, you know, just, just stories or experience, whatever. Does that previous experience as a coach help you communicate in any way? Or is it like, dude, that's behind me. Uh, doesn't matter. We, we got one game ahead of us. No, I, I do think it matters. And just in terms of, you know, the, the, the game in front of you and the mindset that you want to have, you know, your team to go in with and, there, there's so many distractions this time of year. And, and, and as you said, it's always easy to start to look beyond and, you know, what you're playing for and selection Sunday and all those things. And you start getting focused on all that and, and, and you're going to get tripped up pretty easily at what's in front of you. So uh, we, we have a, a really good mindset and, and, and really it started last week. You know, when I, when I talked to Jason before we took off last week, the, the pressure of, Hey, we know this two seed is out there and a double buy into the semis was huge, but we had to go win one game on the road and, and play in two very tough road games. And so I, I think those types of gradual pressure situations help you navigate what you know is in front of me with, with the big games and staying focused on possession by possession, reiterating, this is what makes us good as a basketball team and we can't veer from that now and we can't change. And we've got guys playing awesome in their roles on our team. And now just because the game or the stakes get higher, you can't change that. You, you, you can't want to get away from your role. you got to be a, a star in your role. So all those things are being communicated. In fact, yesterday we did a Zoom uh, with four of our past champions. Mm -hmm. uh, three of them are still playing in Europe and having great careers. And the other is, is someone you'll remember is Corey Hawkins, who's yeah. the assistant coach with the Orlando Magic. Um, so, you know, at this point of the year, they, they've heard me talk every day. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to hear myself talk every day. So I know sometimes the message falls on deaf ears. So we, we brought in some new voices and I thought they were awesome talking about their perspective at the time when they were going through what this team is getting ready to tackle as well as some of the maturity and growth as they're playing high stakes games in Europe. And Corey with an NBA team and, and how all that translates to what we're doing. So we're, we're trying to create a narrative that keeps us focused on the task at hand. Coach Jim Les joining us here on the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline. Coach, know, your team knows you know what the big prize is, what the goal is. But does it help kind of keep that focus for Friday night? Honestly, you have no idea who you're going to play. I mean, there's so many combinations that it could be. The fact that you kind of will be forced to lock in because – you won't know that until uh, the day before. Well, and, and fortunately, I, I'm blessed. I, I have a great staff. In fact, we've got the the most tenured staff in Division One basketball in terms of continuity of being together. So uh, the trust that those guys can look at all the scenarios and worry about potential opponents is great at this time of year because it takes that off my plate where now I can just, for this week, focus on us. You know, I, I can't prep for a team and – and watch any tape of them. So I've just been delving into us, what makes us good, things we want to tweak, some things we want to add, uh, you know, heading into the tournament. And uh, and that's been good. And I, and I think this is also a great opportunity for us to get a little bit of rest. Guys are banged up at this time of year, but also get some work in where we're staying uh, fresh and keeping our rhythm. Mm -hmm. Coach, just, just kind of going back to the – you know, you said you had to win one of two games on the road. You, you did better. You won both. You won both in the space of three days. One against UC San Diego, who, who, uh, no, no disrespect, throttled you guys at home by 33 back on, on the 27th of January. Then February 15th, Long Beach State, you lost to them by four. You won. And by the way, one of those was on, uh, I think it was on Mochi night, by the way, which, which <laughs> was a, a boba night, yeah. I think. Um, what, what, 
I mean, just simple, stupid question. What changed? Well, um, w- one, I, I, I think we, we were just our, a better mindset uh, w- with our guys. And, and, you know, once you see a team uh, once, um, I, I, I think what our staff does really well is just making some adjustments, you know, not wholesale changes, but making some adjustments to maybe how we want to defend or how we want to attack a certain team. And I, I think some of those adjustments and, and they could be very small, but mentally it, it feels like our guys have an advantage and they feel like, Hey, we're going in with a little more ammunition than we had last time. And this is going to be a little bit different, which can make the outcome different. And you know what? Sometimes it's, you know, the, the, the mindset and where the guys are at that particular time. You know, we, we had two tough losses at home to those two teams and, and we have a prideful group and they felt like we didn't put our best foot forward in those opportunities. And they just came out with a little more, you know, piss and vinegar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coach, your name came up last night, which it's all, you know, as a former player in the NBA, as a former King, uh, records are meant to be broken. Malik Monk sets the franchise Sacramento record for most assists for a reserve off the bench. He passed Bobby Jackson's record, but there, there you were uh, listing there with Larry Drew, yourself, Mike Woodson, Bobby Jackson, and now it's Malik Monk. But um, that's happened before. Like we said, records are made to be broken. But what's it like, kind of having your name thrown back out there and you know acknowledge what you had done here in Sacramento? Uh, well, it's, it, I, I guess it's, <laughs> it seems so long ago, uh, Jason. And, um, you know, I, I, I didn't have a lot of stats, uh, attached to, uh, my career, or my name. Uh, so I, I guess it's a nice thing to be reminded that, uh, I, I, I did play at that level and have a little bit of success. Uh, but other than that, I'm really not a, a numbers guy or, or, or not huge with nostalgia. Uh, I, I do want to say I, I, I appreciate, appreciate the Kings and not how they've just treated me, but treated the former players. You know, the, the new ownership and organization uh, really takes pride in treating their former players well and appreciating the, the blood, sweat and tears that we put into the organization. And, you know, the fact that I get to go go back and watch practice and I get invited to a game uh, occasionally my schedule is crazy enough, so I don't get a lot of opportunities. But th- those little things are, are really unique, and I know there's a lot of former players who feel the same way. So I, I think that family cultural environment that they're creating says a lot about why they're making strides and having success as a team because it starts from the top with the leadership. Well, we'll we'll end the interview on this note again. As now we're talking to X King. Uh, Jim, ex Sacramento Kings, great. I say Jim. Yeah, absolutely. He was on the board last yeah. night. Yeah, uh, Coach, we've we've kind of talked about this all year, but uh, the Kings last night just destroyed the Milwaukee Bucks, wire to wire. Beat them by thirty five. They were actually underdogs by one and a half, according to Vegas. That didn't work out. So we look at the Kings' last few home games. They lost to Chicago. Then they go and they beat the Lakers in L.A. They should have lost to San Antonio. They did lose to Houston. And then they throttle Milwaukee. And by the way, this is all after going on the road and beating Minnesota in Minnesota in overtime. We've tried to do it. We can't. You played. Let me ask you, what the hell is this team? <laughs> you know, it's it's amazing how the, the end of the year and the last 25 or, or 30 games, and, and, and you look at a lot of teams uh, across the league, uh, are, are completely schizophrenic. Um, yeah, I think about the Warriors too. They, they get throttled by Boston by 40 and then come back and beat. And it was somebody pretty good at home, th- their next home game. So uh, I, I think you see the culmination of the physical and mental fatigue of an 82 game schedule and the long season and the travel and all the things that come into play. So there's a lot of inconsistencies and, it, it it becomes mind over matter to uh, keep the eye on the prize and finish the year strong, but uh, certainly not not an easy task. Jim Wes, coach of the UC Davis yeah. Aggies, big tests ahead. We don't, and you know what? You know what we didn't ask. We didn't ask if you have a preference as to who you're going to match up with because you know what, Coach? It doesn't matter if you guys play your best game. You're going dancing. I think we can all agree on that. 
Well, and, and, and one of the things going through our league season is uh, we've beaten everybody. You know, there isn't anybody who swept us. So uh, I, I think that adds a little mental confidence, but we, we also know anybody can get hot at the right time. And uh, we just got to make sure that we do what we do. And, and when we defend and, and we have an aggressive attacking mindset on the defensive end of the floor, uh, that usually leads to good things. So we're we're going to pack that on our way to Vegas, and uh, hopefully good things will happen. And then maybe we can talk next week about uh, where and who we're playing. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking forward to that conversation. I'm looking forward to listening. 8.30, Sacktown Sports, Scotty the Body Marsh on the call. UC Davis, Aggies in action. Good luck, Coach. Thanks so much, as always, for giving us time this early each and every week, and looking forward to talking to you next week. Thanks, Dave and Jason. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. That is Coach. Exciting times. You know, full disclosures, we go to break. You know, sometimes um, when you talk to college coaches, you got to get to know them. Sometimes you got to pull stuff out of them. It's it's not always the easiest interview. We've gotten really well. You know, Coach Hawkins was great. Mm -hmm. I can talk to Jim Les every single week. Absolutely. He's just a blast to talk to. When we come back, three for madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Have we found a pattern? And if so, what the heck's going on tonight? A secret stat involving one of the King starters might be the most important stat on the entire team. And let's talk about Keon Ellis, Kyle Madsen style without getting shut down by the coach. Was that a mic drop? Mike Brown? Okay, Mike Brown. Okay, we'll do that and everything next right here on your Home of the Kings, Saptown Sports. Our first year as the radio home of the San Francisco 49ers is one we will never forget. Going deep down the sideline for are you? He's got it, and he's gone. Ten, five, touchdown! San Francisco! Are you? Are you? Are you? He's on fire! Congratulations to the 49ers on a terrific year. And thank you for so many wonderful memories. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Every day, Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies, first aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready. And get ready for the workday. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. All right. Uh, coming up next. Next. Uh, we'll have your text to win in the next segment. We'll go next over to the win. game. Next to win. Thank yeah. you. We got audio from Malik Monk with the, the G-Man. By the way, when uh, when DeMontis Sabonis came out of the game last, or no, not yeah. when they came out of the game, when they announced the uh, that he passed for the double doubles. Now I haven't been to every game. I'm you heard it, too. didn't you? I heard it. I thought it was. I mean, maybe it was just because I was in person, but I thought that was an overwhelmingly good DeMontis Sabonis. But show. I also think it's you were you were listening. I was like, listening for it. Yeah, and so I mean, it, it was there, but it's. You know, because I'll literally look at people to my left so I can see yeah. about 20 people from the, and some are not Doing saying it. it. Yeah, yeah. And then others are saying it. Like, get I, together. I, I, I think the Kings could do one, just one more thing, and then it would be completely adopted. Because I think there's the a karaoke little bit, thing. Uh, yes. Like the yes. Ball. The bouncing ball. On the screen, Domontis, Do because I think a lot—it's yeah. just ignorance, and yeah. that's not a, a right. insult. It's just they—they're like, well, yeah, yeah. like they don't know, right? And then I think once people see that, then it's like, oh yeah. yeah. But I, it was a good, at least I think half the arena oh, last yeah. night that was going yeah, for it. it. We we were we were there, you know, cup hand, oh, you know. Yeah. Then every time Moke looks over at me and like gives it like a grade. Oh yeah, yeah. He gives it. Gives what a, was the highest grade of the night? I think that was an eight. 
Okay. I think that was an eight. That was an eight. I think it happened Rest again like five. when he went out of the it game. It did. Yeah. They did it. I, I think there was either three or four times I counted last okay. night where there was a Demonte uh, Sabonis yeah. chant. And, you know, there's that whole road down there. I looked to my left. There's Moke. And then old friend Jody Bacon was right there. Marr. And then Katie. Yeah. I liked what. I don't know what color uh, she was wearing last night, but it looked good. She was standing out. It was like a turquoise, I think, yeah. or something. Or yeah. Teal, turquoise. Yeah. Yeah. Aqua. Uh, uh, might have been Aqua. We'll ask her. Today. We'll go. Yeah, we'll ask her today. We'll go with Aqua. We'll go with Aqua. Okay. We'll uh, we'll talk to Katie at uh, eight a.m. and we'll ask her or that. nine or nine. Yeah. You know what, Jason? Let's talk to her at nine. Let's okay. give her an extra hour. Yeah, she needs it. Uh, let's talk to Chris right now. Three for Madness. Brought to you by Fire Wings. Question: What? So if we seem to have found a pattern with the Kings, what the heck do we do to with tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't like. It, like Jason, you said earlier, if tonight was against Memphis, pff, loss, yeah. Yeah. loss. But tonight's against tonight against the Lakers. They're three and zero against the Lakers. Two and zero, three and zero. Sabonis is nine and zero against Anthony Davis. But we saw a big streak in last night. Yeah, friend of the show last week, John Ireland, Lakers announcer, That's said, "Look, right. the Lakers have trouble with guards. Malik and Fox went off last time. They've gone off a lot against the Lakers. There, they're, they're playing well." There was a big article in the Times yesterday. Someone sent yeah. me. It was like before the before the Lakers solved the Nugget. Before the Lakers looked looked to the Nuggets, they need to solve the Kings. They're ninth, guys. And they're favored. The Lakers are tonight. The Lakers are favored in Sacramento. Uh, I don't know. I, the, I felt very confident the Kings were going to win last night. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have the receipts. Very confident the Kings were going to win last night. And I'm not optimist guy. Uh, I felt very confident they were going to lose to the Bulls and the Spurs. Is wrong on the Spurs. I don't have a sense tonight. I, Jason, I, if you gun to head, I think they're going to win. Mm. But this is it. This is the latest in a in a series of tests. Everything's a test now for this team. And yeah. You know what I'd like? I'd like another wire to wire thirty point win. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Um. So you know, Chris has accused me, and maybe it's maybe it's true of being a spy for LA. Mm. LA spy. My my roots. Um. Some of my spy friends down there. Uh. The Kings loss. The Kings defeat of the Lakers. What last week? Yes. Was like a gut punch. I basically, I think a lot of people down there felt like that was their game. Like that was the game to launch them. Look, they would have been a half game back at the Kings. Remember, they led by 19. They were crushing Sacramento. Yes. And then it was flipped com completely. Uh, their post game, Laker legend James Worthy said it was the worst loss of the year. Like that. Wow. Like they had their, their, uh, wow. What do we call it? The uh, Wody? They're, no, they're, the, 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 the Kings are Wody? Wody? Yeah. That, wow. That's what they felt. That's where, so like, you know, we can't put ourselves in those teams' shoes, but like their family, like they were really, really down about that. And so I thought, wow, I mean, we're just enjoying it up here. But so having that that soon, knowing that they're 0 3, I feel like they're going to get a great effort from the Lakers. I hope they don't. I hope they don't either. Also, uh, but the Kings do match up well, but that's the other part. And still under man, Keegan's been a big part in these victories against the Lakers. And, you know, we do, uh, I, I'm sure, uh, kind of talking to people last night, I think Trey Lyles will be out for sure tonight. Yeah. So, um, okay. a little undermanned. Uh, the Lakers lost to San Antonio December 15th in San Antonio, 129-115. They lost on the 20th of December in Chicago, 124-108. They lost Friday, January 5th, home against Memphis, 127-113. to uh, I see a lot of other Wolodies on here, Jason mm. Ross. Uh, maybe they forgot the Sacramento Kings are the defending darlings of the NBA. Yeah. I think they just meant maybe the impact of not like an well, they were up nineteen. Oh, uh, you mean the, the the back? I got you. Yeah, and so like they were ready, they were focused, they were zero two against the Kings. They were mm. home. They were thinking, hey, look, this is our march up the Western Conference standings, and then the Kings. Punked well, we had that number earlier. The Timberwolves are the first team since the 2000-2001 uh, season to go on the road and be down 22 and then build a lead to 22. Yeah. I wonder how many teams since 2000-2001 oh, have been down 19 and built, and built a lead 19 yeah. or more on Kings the road. Did that that night. The Kings did yeah. that that night. All right, number two, please. Question two. When scoring 15 or more points, Harrison Barnes is 15-3 and three this year with the Kings. Is he actually the X factor on this team? There's a few X factors. Mm -hmm. And an X factor can't be De'Aaron Fox or DeMontis Sabonis because they're the factors. And 
honestly, if you'd asked me, well, what are the X factors on this team this year? I probably would have said in one or the other order, Keegan Murray, Malik Monk. 15 and three is a pretty large sample size and a pretty damn good number. And Mike Brown talked earlier this season when Harrison was really in a slump. He talked about they don't really run plays for him. Well, you know what? I don't know, man. Maybe if you're 15 and three, let's run a couple plays for the guy. But, you know, then maybe if they did that, they wouldn't be 15 and three when he scores 15 or more. That being said, uh, when he's scoring, the Kings tend to do a lot better. Yeah, and I think, the look, we're looking at some of these bad losses recently. Uh, the escape, really, from the Spurs, the Bulls loss, um, the Heat loss, uh, the Rockets loss. Mm-hmm. The th- common thread was not only Barnes, but generally, David, was Barnes, Herder, and Murray mm-hmm. that were all below 10 points. Yeah. And so, I mean, when you're getting three starters not doing things for you, um, there's just too much pressure right now on Fox and Sabonis and really Monk. Monk's yep. coming through now regularly for this team. Yes. So they need multiple guys to contribute. And last night, not only, uh, I mean, Barnes Herder got there too. Herder didn't, he kind of fizzled out a little bit, but sure. he got off to a great start. So um, they've got to do it collectively because, yeah, they're going to get it, I think, right now from Sabonis, Fox, and Monk. It's just they need at least one or two more guys helping them out. 25 points off the bench for Malik Monk. 19 points for everybody else on the bench yeah. other than Malik Monk. Still, though, we'll take the effort as well. Cut number three, or question three, please. Three. Is Keon Ellis a stopgap at this point, or should we be looking at him being a far more heavier presence minutes-wise? Hmm. Well, I mean, Keon Ellis did pretty well. Let's let's ask Mike Brown. Hey, Mike. Um, you mentioned that you guys are 5-0 and with Keon Ellis in the starting lineup, and it feels like a lot of what he brings is pretty sustainable. Is that a change you've considered uh, making permanent? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's let Mike answer that. Okay. Okay. Here, here's what I asked earlier. The whole Malik Monk starting thing could possibly the answer there be putting Fox and Monk in the backcourt along with uh, Keon Ellis. And now you have Herter and uh, Keegan Murray on the bench. I, I, I don't think that's the answer, but it would be interesting. That being said, Keon Ellis, the answer might be both. He might be a stopgap now, but maybe they should step up those minutes and make him a serious part of that second unit. If you're, you're having a guy like that, having that much success as a starter team success, he's going to have some success as a bench player. Yeah. And he's a success story. I like this. Like, look, he was brought in, he was a draft pick, but like two way guy, mainly going to be in Stockton. He's gotten above that. He's got a contract here. Now he's minutes. Like this is a guy that has developed credit to him, credit to those that have helped with his development. And I think the results are showing not just 5-0 and as a starter. I think he's a good plus-minus guy. He's never really stare at his stat page, but he defends really well, gives yeah. him enough offense, and just kind of fits. I think there's a good energy to him, a good vibe. Fans yeah. love him. Um, I don't know that he has to start, but he needs to be playing. I think it's clear. Just about everything went right in the city of Sacramento last night as we go to break. It's not part of the three for madness. But honestly, how difficult do you think it will be for him to recover and or can you recover from what happened last night? I'm talking about Kyle Madsen. Oh, that question. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, shut down the presser. This is a walk off, like we said. I think Mike Brown base like we only heard the audio of it. Mm-hmm. I think Mike Brown. It, it, I don't know. Did if he had a look? I think he might have been flipping him off. Double oh, bird yeah. when when that happened. Yeah. Do you think Kyle like? Do you think Kyle on the way home? Like, threw on some Sarah McLaughlin and was just kind of looking out the window. Maybe window down, chilly Sacramento night. One tier. W- w- one. One tier. Yeah. And then he just got home, opens the door. His lovely wife greets him. Hey, what's wrong? What's Hey, what, what happened? And Kyle, he tries to say something, but the words don't come. And he just kind of shakes his head and falls into her arms, sobbing. Just letting it all out. You don't want to do that in front of anyone else. Right. Letting it all out. Just basically like someone had to ask the question. And I did. I did. And now everything's ruined. Ruined, I say. Ruined. I think he was probably saying, oh, God, I hope Chris didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the truth. God bless you, because I had no idea that happened until you played it for me before the show this morning. And then, honestly, that might, I might, that might have as much or more to do with my wonderful mood today as the Kings wire to wire win last night. Interesting. We've all been there. 
for the record, it was a perfectly valid question. Yeah. It was a perfectly very valid good question. Absolutely. It was a very good for him. And I hope that that doesn't dissuade other young up and coming media members. I hope that the absolute embarrassment and devastation that Kyle went through last night does not dissuade other up and coming yeah. media members. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Sometimes that shot might be blocked into your face and leave a mm. mark, but you shot, you miss most of the shots you don't take, said Fact. somebody. Yeah. When we come back, we'll throw you the the, uh, the secret word, the keyword for the text to win so you can get Kings tickets. And uh, we've got audio. Wire to wire win for your Sacramento Kings. Malik Monk talked with uh, the G-Man after the game as well. Got all that for you right here on your home of the Kings and really good questions. Hmm. Sacktown Sports. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year. All stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beam. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team. Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Folsom Lake Kia. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're looking at a cool start to the day. Heading into the afternoon, we will be bright and a bit breezy. Expect those north winds about 5 to 15 with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. Shop Folsom Lake Kia during their spring event and save big on your favorite models. You can even buy with zero down on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave asking you, are you feeling the pain of paying more and more for your gas? PG&E has increased their rates four times in the last five years, and the new forecast says PG&E customers may see their bills increase 32% by 2026. The good thing is there are steps you can take to protect yourself from these rate hikes, and better yet, American Energy may be able to help you completely eliminate your gas bill with a new ultra-high efficiency comfort system. Did you know SMUD offers huge rebates to eliminate your old gas guzzler? They can help you guide through the whole process seriously listen to me you go to the smud website there's tons of rebates available but it is confusing on how to do it listen to these rebates 2500 bucks from american energy 3500 from smud a thousand from caltech 2000 home system upgrades that's nine thousand dollars in rebates let american energy help you out at 916-520-9990 call 916-520-9990 hi everyone it's emerald Pilati, the host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140, Saturdays at 10 a.m. I'm excited about our second location at the Roseville Galleria as True Sports Cards continues our expansion. And to celebrate this day, we're excited to announce that Kevin Herter from the Sacramento Kings will be signing autographs on March 30th at 3 p.m. You can get your tickets for this event right now by going to truesportscards.com, searching Kevin Herter in the search bar, and buying your ticket. Limited tickets are available, so please go to the website, truesportscards.com, and get your Kevin Herter ticket tickets right now. At Ashton or Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured, remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and place in the morning to get your sports fix live and vocal the carmichael dave show with jason ross in the last six games the sacramento kings beat minnesota on the road without De'Aaron fox lost that's good to, huh, that's good that's, that's good. great lost to an injured chicago bulls team at home after being up 21 that's bad. It is bad. Yeah, no, I agree with you there too, Chris. Two for two. Uh, beat the Lakers on the road. That's good. That is good. Uh, coming back from a large deficit. Yeah. 
blew a 20 point lead to the San Antonio Spurs and then pulled one out in the end and won. That's good. I guess good ish. Yeah, good. Eh. It's okay. a win. All right. It's a win. We took it. All right. You got to field the tough ones too. Can't uh-huh. just do the easy ones. Lost to the Rockets at home after being up 13. That's bad. Easily bad. Blew out the Bucks by 35 at home. That's, That's good. That's very good. It, it, it is is. That's four and two. What's wrong with that? Does this team qualify? Like, is it okay to bring back the K A N G Z moniker with that? Is that Pete Kings? No, no. That's that's only for the losing teams. Yeah. Okay. Well, it started out great last night. Started out fantastic. Beasley into two point range shot blocked by De'Aaron Fox. Fox on the run. Three defenders there, so he swings to the wing. Keon for three. He's got the triple, and the Kings get the first three points of the ball game thanks to the block from De'Aaron Fox. Did I say it started out great, uh, Kevin Herter? in charge to Sabonis Sabonis takes it strong into the paint against Lopez deep position looks for the cutter it's Herter to the rim and he scores and it's an 8-0 start for Sacramento great energy to start this ball game in the first 90 seconds Bucks are 0 for 3 Kings are 3 for 3 hopefully this is just getting started by the way and we want to make sure you know that Sacktown Sports has teamed up with the Kings and your chance to see him in action next Monday as they take on the Memphis Grizzlies nah. What is certainly going to be a tough, rough and tumble game. All you have to do is text today's keyword for your qualifying entry to score this coveted pair of Kings tickets. Ready for the keyword? Ready. Today's keyword is beam. Beam. Not like. XPGA golfer Rich B. All right. Which is B E E M. Beam as in light the. Yeah. B E A M. Spelling counts. All caps doesn't. Beam. Not goal. Beam. 916 339 1140. Text beam and you get a shot at those tickets. Uh, the game would continue. We could play all the highlights. Maybe we will later, but want to get to Monk and uh, and, and, and G Man. The game was fantastic. The Kings were very good. They just continued to build their lead. And then late in the game, as if Kings fans didn't get their money's worth already, the one Milwaukee Bucks highlight was something anyone there who saw it will never forget. AJ Green. Makes a move to the left, hesitates, digs, pulls up off the bounce, misses the two-pointer. Oh, a huge stick back. And look at Andre Jackson Jr. He had to pull his head out of the way to avoid smashing it into the rim, Henry Turner. Woo, that boy was off the ground. <laughs> Point time. 44 must not be his jersey number, but his vertical. And his- My goodness. <laughs> I was off the ground. <laughs> well done, Henry. That's the high flyer saying that. Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, I've never seen I've never seen anything like that yeah. in person. We talked about it earlier. If you haven't seen it, find it on, on YouTube, on social media. It's out there. It's everywhere. This dude put back this shot, and no joke, like his nipples were touching the rim. I I it, it honestly looked like he jumped off of somebody's hip. And and honestly, the one comparison I've seen that was floating around yesterday, uh, somebody posted the clip. You may remember. Remember the old Tom Chambers? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The old Tom Chambers one handed dunk. That that that's that's a little similar. Now look, we all know about Vince Carter dunking yeah. over the French guy, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, they're better dunks. It's just sure. the surprise of how High he it, it just didn't make sense. And the, the the best part I still say was the crowd reaction. Yeah. It wasn't a it wasn't a cheer. It, it, there were some O's and yeah. Oz, but it was a it was a, it was eighteen thousand people going. Oh my god! Did you did that yeah. just what was that? And I know we've got some audio later on this, but the the King's reaction. Oh. Fox is a little oh. hurt or leave like gets off his feet. The, the, like the, it's a King's dunk. The team dunked on. Yeah, 
was them like, at that point they're up huge. Yeah, they're they're just it. appreciating yeah, what they saw. What they saw. And yeah, well and by, did you see Keegan Murray's reaction? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, Keegan said three. <laughs> Malik rated it as a three. Here's Malik Monk visiting with the legend. This is great. Gary Gerald after the game. Well, Malik Monk is about to slip on a headset down at the scorer's table as Sacramento enjoys this one. G-Man, where you at, man? Hey, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm up here in the reaches. How far? Where you at? Don't, we're waving at you. I don't where, know. where, 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 where I'm looking. I see you, G-Man. I see you, G-Man. I see you. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. I appreciate I the fact him. that you're even cognizant of the fact that we're a long way away from you. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> How satisfying is this win? Oh, yeah, it's great, man, especially when we um, when we let, let our guard down against Houston. Um, to come in and be the top team in the East, man, is great, especially with all the great guys they got over there, uh, with them being in the finals, winning the finals. Um, it, it's great to get this win like this. This is the 23rd time this season that you've scored 20 or more coming off the bench. Do you think about numbers like that? No, sir. Um, I don't think about it until you tell me about it. Um, I just go out there and play basketball and, and, and just try to play as hard as I can every time I get out there. What was the difference in this game? Once, I mean, you were able to get the separation, but unlike so many other times when big leads have turned into no lead, yep, for sure. what was the difference today? We kept our, we, we, we didn't let let our guard down, G man. We didn't um we didn't hold off. We kept the pressure up the whole game. We usually relaxed a little bit in the third quarter, and we didn't do that this time. And I think that was the biggest key. Let me ask you about the contributions from Keon Ellis, particularly defensively. Oh yeah, for Damian sure, Lillard. for sure, man, Keon. I, I think I've been saying this before. Keon, every time he comes in the game, man, he steps up big, whether it's hitting shots, guarding, making the right plays. And that's just him being ready and him being a professional. And he just made a big play right there. Is he just lit the beam, beam man? Lit the beam. He lit the beam. Like All the right. beam, baby. How much gas in the tank for a possible sweep against the Lakers tomorrow night? Oh, yeah. I got, I got a lot of gas in the tank. So I, I, I hope my um, my teammates follow behind me. I'm going to make sure they're behind me, though. Let's play, too. Yes, Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Where you at, G Man? Malik's the best. He really is. Would it would it be inappropriate for Gary Gerald? Because I feel like he could get away with it. Would it be inappropriate for G-Man to be like, Malik, listen, great night tonight. Obviously, it just smiles everywhere. This is something you don't want to leave, right? Can we get a commitment from you right now <laughs> that you're going to yeah. re-sign with this club? He, he wouldn't want to disappoint the G-Man. Wouldn't? No, yeah. right. Be like, what if, oh, my God. What if that's get, a negotiator or a closer. What if he got him post game? It was like Malik. I've been doing this a long time, and I've run into few people that have the the heart and soul and fun you do playing the game. Now I've got to be honest. I haven't told anybody this yet, but I'm honestly considering retiring at the end of this year. But I'll tell you right now: if you come back, I'll come back. If you leave, I'm done. Malik let's, would probably say, "Let's do it together, G man. We'll it, run it back. Let's run it back. Yeah. Let's go." Yes. How awesome would that be? Unless Malik was like, mm. I mean, how about your all-time backfires? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Malik's yeah. like, actually, yeah. these are my last games got here. A really big offer in the offseason. It's going to be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> but but they have a radio opening. So, oh, oh my God, you want to, you think it'd look weird seeing some people in a different jersey? Oh, my God. Imagine Gary Gerald calling games for a dip. That is Fans. like beyond Jerry yeah. Rice with the Broncos. Right, exactly. That ain't, that ain't ha- He's not allowed to. Yeah. Even if he wanted to, which he wouldn't, yeah. we would we would go to his house and we would hold him down. Yeah, we won't have to worry about that. We would not have to worry about that. Are you kidding me? You can't think Kings without the great, legendary, lovely, talented, all-around great guy, Mr. Gary Gerald. We will take a break when we come back. Hey, look what you did here. Last night was a butt kicking. They kicked their butts. That's really good. I like that. I appreciate a good pun. We're going to talk about this. We got some audio for you. King set the tone. Bucks in check and so much more. They, they were de-antlered last night. Let's talk about it next. But first, breaking news. It's Wing Day Wednesday today. Oh, my God. It's Wing Day Wednesday today. If only there was a sports match going on tonight. If only it was a nationally televised yet locally radioized broadcast. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sports match against, I don't know, let's say an old rival that you could enjoy 
88 cent wings. Oh, but wait, there is, because it's Wing Day Wednesday right now at Fire Wings. Bone in, boneless, any of their 21 flavors, it don't matter, girl, you can get them all. Just go to firewings.com. Find the location nearest you. And order. You order right now. Order right now and set up the time you want. Me, personally, I think I'm going to set the time for... 645. I'll roll in there because there's a sports match at 7 o'clock. I want to watch tonight and I want to be you know what deep in a big pile of firewings. Firewings.com. Find the location near you. Tell them Carmichael Day sent you. Enjoy Wing Day Wednesday. Firewings. Just wing it. The Bucks, the Kings, the most complete performance perhaps of the whole year. We'll get to it next. Sweep LA. The Kings go for the season sweep tonight against the Lakers. Here's a great steal. Malik Monk ahead to Keon Ellis. A full-blown two-hand throwdown. And the Kings have a 20-point lead as the defense has just been spectacular. The Kings and Lakers tonight at 7 on your home for Kings basketball. Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can in the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jake Owen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan auto pay stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular supply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. He has very good sources and he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a lot of pretty smart things to, to say. He's good at what he does. On Sacktown Sports. I haven't said this in a while, so I just want to kind of give everybody, you, you okay with a quick food tip, everybody? 
Sure. We're getting close to St. Patrick's Day. So I want to remind everybody that this is the time of year where those like yellow prepackaged uh, slabs of corned beef mm, are, are gross. There's really, yeah, I, don't, I don't like it. You don't like corned beef? It's too salty. Well, Chris, this this part of the segment's for you then, friend, because it's as cheap as they're ever going to be. In some cases, it's like fifty to seventy percent off because there's so many, right? And then day after, sometimes they go down to at certain grocery stores. Now And they freeze perfectly. You can just take the package, throw it in the freezer, and forget about it. Now is a really good time to buy a handful of these. And if you like corned beef, great. Just throw it in the old crock pot, and you're good to go. But throw that corned beef in a, uh, in, a, in a little container of water and put it in the fridge and forget about it for a day. Uh, then take it out, let it dry in the fridge for a second day. Rub it with pastrami rub, which is really simple, coriander and a few other spices. Throw it on the smoker for a few hours, and you've got yourself homemade pastrami. So you could do corned beef. Do you not like pastrami? Too salty. You sound like my mother now. It's too salty. All right. Well, for everybody else but Chris for a lot, I know my dad didn't care. Uh, go with, uh, you know, I'm just saying, it's a great time to have corned beef and pastrami. And if you play it right, you could have it all year long. Same thing with turkey. Buy buy those cheap ass turkeys during uh, Thanksgiving. Throw one or two in the fridge if you have the room. Summer turkey freezer, freezer. Yeah, yeah. Freeze that turkey. Freeze that turkey. Grab a couple extra. You know, for like ten bucks for a big old turkey. Freeze turkey. Put it in the turkey. Yeah, turkey. Freeze turkey. That's uh, what she said in Police Academy, right? Yes. Yeah. Anyways, just uh, which just, one? Uh, which Police Academy? I think every one. <laughs> what? I don't think I've seen the first one. <laughs> you haven't seen the first one? Freeze no. turkey. There's a clip. There's yeah, exactly. I think I've only seen three and four. <laughs> it's like they just get better. Yeah, they just <laughs> the original is the best, I think. And uh, there's a clip floating around of Michael Winslow. He's the guy that mm-hmm. makes all the uh the uh the sound effects with his uh with his his mouth and yeah. other things. There's a clip of him on a talk show doing a led zeppelin song i i it's one of those where you look oh my god you watch it you go this is just one of those examples of you you just have to salute human beings that have talent right just like last night i think about eighteen thousand people were saluting a lot of guys with talent Mm -hmm. on the floor by the way not for nothing the bucks got steamrolled last night in lol Giannis Antetokounmpo is really good yeah sure he's just you watch him and you're just like dude that's just not it's okay. That's just it's just not fair sometimes. But also also breathe on him and he gets a foul. Okay. I did not I mean when the Kings won by 100, yeah. I thought the officiating was rough. Look, what was rough. it like what was their first foul shot second quarter? Yeah. Late mid second yeah. quarter? And, and you know for the people like, well the Kings just shot three is not true. Kings scored more points in the paint. They were tr- attacking the paint, I thought. And I thought the fouls the Bucks were getting were touch fouls out near half court. Yes. And I'm like, okay, you got to call that both ways. I, I, I you're mean, right. I, I generally don't even. And the Kings won by a, a ton. Right. You were going to say I, butt load. Yeah, I, I did. Know you were. But uh, I, thought, I didn't think it was great. I didn't think they got a great whistle at all. No, they didn't. And thank God that had nothing to do with anything. And as a matter of fact, we'll get into the Kings free throws a little bit later. Jason's got some numbers there. 35 to 16 was the free throw disparity last night. It seemed like Kings had 16. Kings ended up with 16 free throws. What did Giannis night. have? Uh, Giannis, just Giannis, had 14. Okay. It, was, it was 10 of 14. Props, by the way, to uh, Kings Game Ops for putting the uh, the timer yeah. up there yeah. so we could all count down uh, from 10 every time Giannis was on the floor. They set the tone, the Kings did, a 75-point first half But they did it with defense as well in the second half. Just scored 20 points in the third, but they only gave up 22. And our good friend uh, Frankie Cardicelli, Jason, uh, has some numbers uh, when it comes to the Kings this season. You know, we talked about Harrison Barnes being 15 and three when scoring 15 or more. They're five and zero when Keon Ellis starts. We Mm -hmm. talked about that in the last segment. When Malik Monk scores 20 or more, they are 17 and six. Mm. When they are shooting. 35% 35% or higher from beyond the arc, which, by the way, it's a good number. Yeah. It's not lights out. 29 and 9. When they dish out 30 or more assists, this is the key, I think. 22 and 5. And if that ain't the key, this is. This season, when the Kings score 120 or more points, 
32 and four. Wow. Jason Ross. And they scored that many, but also held an opponent under 100 for just the sixth time this year. There was no 30 point quarters after the first for the, for the bucks. I thought early on it was make Giannis work for it, but no one else was going to get theirs. Sure. And it, they didn't get a double figure score until late in the game. Um, Dame was a non-factor mm -hmm. and I love that they just didn't let up because I thought of all things I, I was here's how I was preparing myself last night because we've seen the Kings have the blown lead let down I thought this one actually could happen in a natural way one they were playing a really good team yeah two I thought the shooting was so out of whack I mean the Kings were making everything in the first half I yes. said well I mean, if the Bucks keep getting the whistles, they do have Giannis, they have Dame. I know it's a big lead, but this one to me would have been believable of a comeback. And instead, the Kings never let them in the game. That was awesome. They never let them in the game. What what was it? Did they opened eleven to two. Uh, yeah, like and it was eight zero, and whatever it was. And then the closest it got late was fourteen. But then again, before you know it, back up to thirty plus in the largest win of the season. Could they do that tonight? Let's hear Please? from. Let's hear from an old friend of ours. Anything's possible. It's nice of KG to check in. It is nice of KG yeah. to check in. Big Kings fan. He's always listening. We'll take a break. When we come back, a couple of things here. There's still a lot of other things to talk about from this game. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that we're going to take from this game that happened. Also, we'll hear from uh, De'Aaron Fox post game as well on the defense of the Sacramento Kings. So big fat segment for you. Top of the hour, 8 o'clock on your home of the Kings, Sackdown Sports. Subscribe to Sackdown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sacktown Sports. O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find a repair shop with our shop referral program. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly Auto Parts. When it's chilly cold at night, don't just add another blanket. Add a new furnace system instead. Now for as low as $5,999 with 0% interest and no payments for 18 months. Bonnie.com. Some restrictions apply. License 696-355. At Fisher Investments, we may seem like other money managers, but we're different. What makes you so different than the rest of us? We ensure clients receive unparalleled service at every step of the relationship. Tell me more. Our investment counselors focus on service over sales, prioritizing clients' needs. How do you make money? We don't sell any commission-based products. We have a simple management fee based on the value of our client's portfolio. So we do better when our clients do better. What about client portfolios? We get to know each client, their finances, family, health, lifestyle, and more. And then we tailor a portfolio based on their specific goals and needs. Your clients really come first then, huh? Yes, we make them a top priority. Our goal is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. Wow, maybe we are different. At Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Learn more at fisherinvestments.com. Investing in securities involves the risk of loss. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons points today all guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline Folsom Lake Honda your one-stop Honda shop from the power business technology Toshiba studios KHTK AM Sacramento KYMX HD2 Sacramento Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers touchdown San Francisco Sacktown Sports the Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at nine.
All you have to do is remember the drive of the game that G-Man called out. It's the entirety of the game. <laughs> Seriously, it could be. And that was that game was the drive yeah. of the game. Yeah. There's one play. It was a good one. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good one. And uh, all you got to do is know that one. And you know what? You will win a $100 gift certificate to Jiffy Lube. Oil change. Tire rotation. Windshield wipers. Yeah. So many things you can do. There's a plethora of things you can do. So one 800 1140 There you go. Um, we'll get to De'Aaron Fox in a second. Let's go through some things. Here, so I'm going to put my feet up. Oh. There's a lot of stuff to go through. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This post game. The dunk. Yeah. Andre Jackson Jr. Dare I confess, last night, First time I've heard the name Andre Jackson Jr. that I remember. It's okay. Understandable. Just, you know, no offense to him, but I will remember the name Andre Jackson Jr. for the rest of my life. And what's weird is I think you're going to remember that play for the rest of your life. Yep. And this was one of, like we said, the best wins of the year, the most lopsided. But that that highlight is sticking with me, that play. And, and I think it's fair to say that highlight is sticking with the players on both teams. Yeah. Now the Bucks, I'm sure, weren't you know. I let, <laughs> I didn't even see their reaction. I don't think I honestly, after looking at the replay, because I couldn't see the Kings bench from yeah. where I was, but I was right behind the Bucks bench. Yeah, I can tell you right now, the Kings bench reacted more than the Bucks yeah. bench to that, and for understandable reasons. Yeah. Uh I don't know that I've ever seen one play convince me beyond the shadow of a doubt. If Andre Jackson Jr. is not in the dunk contest mm-hmm. next year, then shut down the dunk contest. Yeah. Because that dude has like a 59-inch <laughs> vertical. Again, jetpack, trampoline, launch off of someone else. I don't know. I mean, obviously he can jump. Yeah. And I think it was Jalen Slauson that he yes. connected. So I don't know if it was one of those that he hit him and somehow it propelled him higher. It just, we've seen 8 million games. It didn't make sense to the eye when you saw it. No, no, it didn't. Yeah. And, and, and that's why we talked about it. It's my favorite crowd reaction. It's not the everyone goes crazy. It's not booing. It's none of the normal stuff. It's a crowd reaction, almost like a no hitter. You yeah. just have to be lucky enough to see and hear. It's the, the reaction of, I don't know what I, I need to process what I just yeah. saw. I think I saw his neck at the rim, I think, but that mm-hmm. doesn't make sense in my head. Yes. Oh, no, I did see that. There will be a day, I want to say in our lifetime, that if we follow the natural evolution of athletes, I believe that there will be a day, as long as we live full lives before we pass this earth, that we will see, whether it's in a game or whether it's in a dunk contest, that we will see a front flip dunk. I do believe that's going to happen. I I don't think we're there yet, but I do think it will happen someday. And I think that's the type of reaction we'll hear when that happens. As long as nobody knows it's coming yeah. and somebody busts out with a front flip dunk, you'd think, oh, my God, the guy just did a forward flip and dunked the ball. I'm going to go nuts. That's not how it would go. Yeah. They do a front flip dunk and the crowd would be in yeah. stunned silence. Like the people do on the off trampolines of yes. the game. Yes. But yeah. But that's off a trampoline. Right. No, 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 no. Somebody busts that out in a game. Holy crap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that I was do amazing. I you're saying. Uh, but <laughs> the... Uh, this was a fun moment. Everything's going right when JaVale McThree yes. hits one from beyond the arc. Yeah, that, that was, was great. That was like yeah. everybody wanted him to take it. Yes. He did, and he yes. just drained it. Just drained it. Left the hand up there. The Kings are 1-0 and this year, I believe, when JaVale McGee hits a three. I think you're right. I think I'm probably right. Jalen Slauson played uh, two games in a day. He had 20 points for Stockton. Yeah, they played down in Ontario, went for 20. Gets, and they're probably thinking, well, I'm here. It's cool. I'm putting a uniform, but whatever. And he plays. Isn't that great? Yeah. He played two games in a day, yeah. dude. That is he fantastic. He can pay twice. He has to. That's overtime. That is. Does he get paid overtime? Yeah. Does he get paid like time and a half or double time, whatever the, the rookie minimum yeah. is or whatever? Two showers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A couple of showers. Two post game meals. Yeah. Malik Monk set a Sacramento Kings record for most assists. We talked about this with Jim yeah. Les, who was on that list. Uh, he passed Bobby Jackson. Um, Bobby played here for a while. Bobby played. That was the most, like, I didn't even expect to see that. And when I saw it, I went, that, well, I, that can't be right. Yeah. At first, I was a bit confused. I went, oh, in a season. Okay. Okay. Wait, no career? All time. 
Malik's been here a year and not two. A I mean, year, a year and two thirds. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we got it. It, it. it should be in the bag, right? Bring Sam? Up. No, I mean, as as far as. Oh, six man? Yeah. yeah I got a does. little bit of pause last week when we talked to Sam. He's like, well, you got to keep him. I'm like, yeah, I'm you're gonna, right. But I'm like, there's no way. I'm going to stand in front of Sam, and I hope he's okay with me saying this. I just think that was us putting Sam on the spot. And he okay. even said a little bit, like, I haven't dived into it. Like, look, barring something insane or terrible between now and the end of the season, not only is Malik Monk going to win six man of the year, it might be. It, we may be seeing a, a mic. It might be a runaway. It might be unanimous. Yeah. Like, this isn't going to be close. He is your sixth man of Deservedly the year. Deservedly so. Deservedly so. And it will be the second year in a row. You can now add, add four national awards. Mm-hmm. Oh, Coach of the year, exec of the year, clutch player of the year, and then this year, sixth man of the year. Nice. No all-stars, though, Dave. Yep. Nope. No all-stars. Mm. Um, DeMontis Sabonis finally sets the fr- – I say finally because there yeah. was that mistake a few, few yeah. weeks ago – Sets so the franchise record for most consecutive double doubles in a season with 47. He passes Jerry Lucas. There's 82 games in regular season, uh, Jason. And DeMontis Sabonis has 47 double doubles in a row, but he has 60 in for the a season. Row, 60 for the year. Which, what's funny to me, honestly, when you tell me that he has 60 in the season, God, how many, how many games have they? Let's see. 64? Yeah, 37. Yeah, 64. It's such a compliment to DeMontis Sabonis that the first thing I think is he had four games without a double-double. <laughs> what's going on there? Yeah. Uh, what's going on here, by the way, is this, uh, I think this is Ashley. Good morning, Ashley. Morning. So, um, I, again, uh, watched the game live on the TV, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Okay. The drive game. I'm going Malik Monk in the second quarter on the dime to De'Aaron Fuckert. Uh to Keon Ellis. Malik Monk's dime to Keon Ellis in the second quarter. Well, I can tell you that you're really, really close. You got the right player. Oh. You got the right quarter. That was not the Jiffy Lube drive of the game. See, he's talking about this play. Rare is it to have five men in double figures in the first half of a ball game. Here's a great steal. Malik Monk ahead to Keon Ellis. A full-blown two-hand throwdown. And the Kings have a 20-point lead as the defense has just been spectacular. And Doc Rivers has called another timeout. 2.44 to play in this second quarter. Boy, the Kings have brought fire to this one. Can they sustain? So that was not the Jiffy Loop. It was not the Jiffy Loop drive of the game. But okay. thank you for trying, Ashley. Second day in a row, I believe we talked to Ashley on the yeah. program. Uh, let's go to Ralph. Not enough Ralphs. Oh, I agree. Yeah, not enough Ralphs th- these days. Make Ralph great again. When I say the name Ralph, what's, what's the first thing you Ralph. think? Mouth. Hey, uh, for Ralph Mouth? Yeah. I think of the uh, the sheepdog with Wiley Coyote uh, when they used to clock in. Ralph Macchio? Yeah, uh, uh, Ralph, ooh, Mount Ralph more. Ralph, yeah. let's get to that in a second. Okay. Good morning, Ralph. Good morning, Dave. Hey, what about Jason? Well, you too, Jason. Thanks, Ralph. Ralph, my friend, what is the Jiffy Lube drive of the game? Well, that would be from Sabonis to Monk for the layup for two. Sabonis to Monk, layup for two. Rare layup for two. Let me see if that was the Jiffy Lube drive of game to Malik Monk circles to the left wing gets in two-point range goes strong goes to that left hand off the window and he scores again Malik Monk and the Kings on a 12-0 run let's make that your Jiffy Lou drive of the game from Sabonis Malik Monk in full attack mode on the left angle hey confirmation Ralph. Ralph you are the winner of the Jiffy Lou $100 gift certificate congratulations my friend well thank you Ralph, one last question. Good luck. What sports radio station makes all your Jiffy Lube dreams come true? Stacktown Sports 1140. That is, this is my second win. This oh, is your oh. second. That's right. But in over a few months, yes, though, so we're following the rules. Ralph, yeah. you know what? You listen, we will bribe you, my friend. Well, thank you. Like I said, I, I listen to every game. There you go, Ralph. We appreciate that. You know yeah. who else appreciates that? Gary Joe. Yes. And me. And Jason. Yeah. And Chris. Yeah. 
And you. Does Alan Styles? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Yeah, we will. But I appreciate Way it. Way to go, well. Ralph. Way to go, Ralph. We will take a break. Still a lot of stuff to get to from the game as well. Who the heck, though? Who the heck are these? Will the real Sacramento Kings please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Uh, we'll ask Mike Brown about that, and uh, we got some more numbers for you. We'll do all that in just one minute on Sacktown Sports. Keep it here to Sacktown Sports for the Sacramento Kings push toward the postseason. Get analysis from our local shows, breakdowns from our Kings insiders, and all the thrilling moments from the G-Man. He, quick catch, quick strike. There's another one up in the lights and in the well. Ten three-pointers made. Keegan Murray putting on an all-time scoring exhibition tonight. Sackdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-934-9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. They bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. We welcome you back, Dave, Jason, you, and Malik Monk on setting the assist record. Hey, Malik, back to that um, record, the assist record here for the franchise. Yeah, I told Bobby I was going to beat him. Did you? Yeah, I told him that. <laughs> How do you take it? <laughs> and I told him that before I even, as soon as I signed, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to beat your records, Bobby. Um, I've been here two years, too. <laughs> I got a feeling Malik, I got a feeling Malik on the golf course is a, is a treat. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's, he's a treat. Yes. He's talking garbage the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, one more thing to clean up here from uh, from before that 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 Jackson dunk we were talking about, Andre Jackson. Yeah. Uh, Fox was asked about that. Fox, first off, camera caught you in the bench. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's reaction, reaction was crazy. <laughs> Kevin's reaction was crazy. He was. I don't know if y'all saw. I, I hit him on the head. He's like, he's like, he's from upstate. I'm like, bro, I don't care. Like, that's the first thing that worldwide world posting. That's the first thing that people are gonna see is uh, how we react, and I was. <laughs> He got him well, for sure. Wow. <laughs> a whole wide whole shout out there from the Twitter account. Yeah. One of the better uh, NBA Twitter accounts by uh, by uh, uh, De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, they were all over the place. I love how Kevin loves the fact that he, hey. He's from upstate. Shout out upstate, yeah. baby. Uh, Mike Brown was asked about this team as well and on the inconsistencies. Here's what he had to say. Is going through some ups and downs, in my opinion, like any, any ex- inexperienced team, in the position that we're in, I mean, we're, we're we're trying to play uh, this game uh, with some expectations as a group that we're not used to having overall, and you know it's going to cause for some ups. It's going to cause for some downs, and the one thing that you hope is is everybody continues to stay together. Uh, but while staying together, we each, we each hold each other accountable, and you know as long as you feel like you're making strides, especially towards the end of the season, going into playoff time. I'll leave, I, I, for me personally, I can. I don't like it. I don't want it to happen, but I can live with some inconsistencies throughout the course of the course of the year, especially uh, where we are as a group. When you're looking at the individuals on this roster, which is not a ton of experience in the position that we're in right now. Okay. <laughs> But it goes back to, I think we brought this up yesterday, Dave. So now that they beat Milwaukee, the record against the top three in the East, top three in the West is now nine and six. 
So that shows you what they're capable of. That's now right. we have to live with the the Charlottes, the Portlands, the Detroit. I mean, that's that's where kind of the head scratching is going, right? They are zero and one against Boston, one and one against Milwaukee. Now one and one against Cleveland. Yet they are three and one, two and one, and two and one uh, progressively against Denver. OKC in Minnesota, as you said, that's yeah. nine and six overall. And still another game with Boston. So they, obviously in Boston, that'll be very tough. And another game against OKC, they can help the record. They can hurt it, but it would be winning record regardless, even if they go 0-2. For all the ups and downs, for all the inconsistencies, for all the, the inexplainable losses, I'm going to go back to what we talked about yesterday. And I think this is going to be my new happy thought. This team is far more likely to be a Western Conference Finals or NBA Finals team this year than they are last year based on how they played. Yes, yes, it's angering, frustrating, whatever you want to call it, these losses that uh, to, to these bad teams or average teams, especially when you compare them to wins like last night, yeah. wins in Minnesota. But we'd far rather it be this way than sitting here going, you know, I mean, the Kings take care of business against the bad teams, but they just can't crack through. They right. can't break through against the good teams. That's not the conversation we're having at all. We're having the opposite. Yeah. And so if you think about if they're so fortunate to be a playoff team, which I believe they will be, mm -hmm. um, the that part that frustrates us, they're not going to be playing the bad teams. Doesn't mean they're right. That means they're a gimme to get through. But what some of the regular season trends that I think could pass over into the postseason is it's not crazy to think they're playing whoever, a good Western Conference team in the first round, and they maybe have a 20-point lead in a playoff game. They could, I mean, they've. I think it's the league a little bit, but the Kings right. have shown that they don't always keep that lead. So that, I think, would be something that could transfer to the postseason, positively and negatively, because they've come back from some 20-point deficits, too, to win. I think, I think if, you know, look, they got to get in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see them screwing around in the play. I don't either. And they're right there. Right. But if they were, they're a half game off the Suns right now. If if the season ended, let's say Phoenix's last game was tomorrow, they're playing, you said Boston, I mm -hmm. think. Let's say just for, you know, you know what's in giggles, the Kings finish up uh, ahead of the Suns. They're the sixth seed. And we're sitting here going into the playoffs, and it's the Timberwolves and the Kings mm -hmm. in the first round. Right. I'm not feeling overconfident, but I'm like, you know what? I, I kind of like this yeah. matchup. I, I, I kind of like this matchup. Now, if it was Sun, if it was Kings Pelicans, if it was Kings, maybe, I don't know, Nuggets Clippers. Yeah, but Thunder, Timberwolves, Suns, Mavs, Lakers, Hell Warriors. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling pretty good going in here. There, there's there's a couple of big speed bumps, obviously, in the Nuggets, uh, Pelicans, and Clippers in front of the Kings, but to me, if they continue to play this style and this way, the road to the Western Conference Finals is just going to highly depend on who those matchups are. Yeah, and it's, you know, I don't know whether it's the inconsistencies that lead us to the thought that, like, they haven't played their best basketball, but they've shown us here. I would say now if we're going, you know, maybe the last 15 games, the win at Minnesota, the win at the Clippers, the win last night, and yep. really after the first quarter on on the Lakers, they've been great. I mean, great. Now, same squad that's frustrated us with other losses in between there. So it's it's the peak looks really, really good. Well, and 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 speaking of looking great, you know, they haven't they haven't won every game we've wanted them to over their last few. But if you focus in on the last five games, which are not all wins, mm -hmm. one of the consistently frustrating things about this team has been their free throws. Yes. And dude very quietly, mm -hmm. the Kings ha have figured it out, at least temporarily. They were 16 of 18 against the Bulls in a loss, 10 of 12 against the Lakers in a win, 17 of 18 against the Spurs in a win, barely needed those free throws. Had they shot their average of right. free throws, they lose that game. 20 of 23 against the Rockets in a loss. 13 of 16 against the Bucks for a win. Jason, over five games, that is 76 of 87. That is 87%. Phenomenal. And what's great in those five, the Bulls game was their season best as far as fewest misses of two. They beat that two games later, like you said, against the Spurs. And one was a loss, and the other one was a near loss. But I, I think it's 
now starting to, at least lately, a five-game stretch that, again, shows you, hey, look what they're capable of. What they're, well, That's exactly right. What they are capable of. Are they still of. dead last? They are dead last. Okay. Uh, because they were pretty far down. There. They were. They are now, uh, they've gone from almost 2% back to, uh, they are now point, uh, excuse me, they're 1.2 yeah. back. So they've It's hard to move up this late in the year. They've made up a little bit, uh, but I'll tell you this much, over the last three games, they are number two in the NBA in free yeah. throws made. Number one, 90% the Detroit Pistons. That's so weird. Wow. <laughs> okay. The Detroit Pistons. But hey, you know what? Screw it. 87%. Yeah. Jason, I'll say this. If the Kings can shoot 87% from the free throw line for the rest of the year, they're going to make some noise. Absolutely. They're going to make that combined noise. with their uh, three pointers were falling last night. I mean, that was fun. I, I, again, I love that Herder got off to the good start. Barnes, um, and then filling in the pieces, Fox, Sabonis. Sabonis didn't quite get the triple-double. Thought that would happen for him, but that's okay. I mean, that guy's just, that guy's rolling right now. He he is, he is, he's almost on autopilot. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and how good he is playing. Uh, and, and I think it was Fox that said something to the effect of, you know, outside, he was asked about Sabonis and was like, outside of us here locally, it doesn't seem like anybody's talking about it. Don't take this for granted. Like we're watching history right now. This guy is absolutely insane. Not good enough to be an all-star, not good enough to be an all-star, but good enough to be historically good with double doubles. And, and what do we, what do we say? He's leading the leading the league in triple doubles, double doubles and assists. Yeah. Uh, all since January 1st. That's, Pretty, 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 pretty good. And and it makes me think, let's check the Kia race to the MVP ladder. Uh, what Still it, better be top five. Uh, let's see. Uh, the latest we actually is due to come out here uh, pretty soon. Uh, we'll go back to uh, March 8th. Nikola Jokic, number one. Understandable. G- Gilgis Alexander, number two. Okay. Giannis Adetokounmpo, number three. Okay. Probably G- Luca. Jason Tatum. Oh, oh, yeah, Tatum. Number four. Luka Doncic, All right. number five. DeMontis Sabonis for the second week in a row at number six. He'll probably stay there, right? I mean, Luka's still been doing great. It's funny, you know, every time, they, every time he has a triple-double, that's featured. I mean, it, it just is. Sabonis doesn't You've got get, sausage arms and cankles. Uh, Sabonis doesn't get talked about as much on that. Tatum, I mean, I feel like Tatum should get a little more recognition. Best record, best player on the best team, 51 wins. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. That that list makes sense. I I, I think Jokic is your MVP. I do too. I think that's the the you know he's a presumptive favorite. I, I'm okay with you know, Gilgis Alexander being number two just because Oklahoma City is so good. But then I would probably put I agree with you on Tatum. I would probably put Tatum at three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Giannis at four. I, again, it's just me. Luka Doncic is putting up. Re, those are some pretty crazy numbers. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you know. They're, not only are they behind the Sacramento Kings, but Sabonis, a guy not known for his defense, is a better defender than Luka mm-hmm. Doncic. He's being asked to do more on that side yeah. than Luka Doncic. He's a center as well, putting up uh, these numbers. Did you see that story floating around yesterday on social about, um, who was it that said it, Michael Finley, about Luka? In yeah, practice? in practice. Yeah, I'm not going to name any names, but Grant Williams <laughs> basically said blah, 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 and then Luka <laughs> proceeded to just go nuts in the in practice and that and and look obviously an incredibly talented player don't, yes don't get me wrong yeah uh a little little too much of a free throw merchant for me yeah yeah one of a few of those in the league he's not like james harden right who has more free throws made than field goals <laughs> made which still that still absolutely blows me away um so as we said earlier We've got ourselves a bit of a pattern going with this yeah. team. Um, and now that we've got a little bit of air beneath our sails as a fan base, I don't know what to do with tonight because it doesn't fit. Again, if they were playing the Grizzlies, the Raptors, uh, the Hornets, the Pistons, the Spurs, I'm thinking mm, trap game. Let down, yeah. This isn't a top team in the Lakers, but I think they're treated like a top team by the players. I think these guys get up for LeBron James and Anthony Davis and everybody else. They're playing at home. Second night of a back-to-back at home. But you know what? They're, I mean, 
this is a young team. I don't know that a second night of a back-to-back at home should necessarily affect them, but the the, the Lakers have not played since Sunday. Mm-hmm. That was a big win for them. Uh, the Lakers are favored by one and a half coming in tonight, but it's like, all right, we beat the Bucks, And if I hope that Mike Brown and all the coaching staff and the players are all saying, okay, we enjoyed this win, or maybe you know something in the post-game locker room of like, enjoy the win until you walk in the door at home. And once you get home and that door shuts, I want you to completely forget about tonight's win. And I want you to think about how your fans, the national media, and Las Vegas all believe that you're going to turn around and throw that win back tomorrow night at home against the Lakers. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. what I want. Motivation. To say. Motivation. Prove them wrong. Right. Prove us wrong. Yeah. Because a lot tonight's looking like a dog fight. I don't want it to look like a dog fight. If they can beat the Milwaukee Bucks by 34. They match up better with the Lakers. And have shown that, right? I've and, shown it. You know, at the end, I don't know if it would have mattered. I thought they could have taken the starters out about a minute or two earlier, but whatever. That's yeah, fine. I, I, I don't think that, it's not like they logged. And I don't know what the difference from 34 minutes to 32 minutes would be played. But, um, yeah, they didn't have to really overexert themselves, so they should be ready to go. I don't know that it's necessarily being fair to Mike Brown, and I don't know preemptively how much I'll be – uh you know, I'll be all over this, but last night, uh, it was 95 to 78, 95, 78. So you have a 17 point lead going into the fourth quarter, yeah. which ballooned very quickly to yeah. 30 plus. I think they scored the first seven to timeout doc. It's 24 right away. You're like, okay, good. I completely understand that this is hindsight. I completely understand that this is Wednesday morning quarterbacking. I completely understand that we all know how this team has been with blowing leads. I get it. But if the Kings do lose tonight at home, there are going to be some questions as to, did you leave those starters in too long? Because those starters were in, what was it, two minutes left? Maybe three when he cleared the bench. No, no, it was more than that. Was it? Yeah. I thought it well, was. How many pretty... minutes did like Slauson and Bobby uh, Jones? And... L- 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 they played like five. Slauson played two. Uh, Jones played five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, 34, 32, 32 for Fox, Barnes, and Sabonis. And then uh, 25, 27 for Ellis. That's not that It was bad. closer to about five that he played those guys. So. I would have liked to have seen them play 18. Well, you know, starting the fourth quarter, they yeah, had this is a team that lost a twenty-two point lead with eight minutes to go in Phoenix, and they still had Lillard and Giannis on the floor. And he that, couldn't take that risk, and that's why I think, like, I'm, I'm, I'm waffling here. I, I, I take it back. I get there may be some questions if that happens tonight. They won't come from me. I get it. I get what I get. What they were doing. It's like, dude, you know what? Let's just let's just make sure we have this win. Maybe someone else will ask those questions. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Maybe shut down another press conference. Yes. Uh, either way, the when they're driving home last night, yeah, forget about the win, move on to the Lakers. Yeah, what were they driving? I don't know, but I imagine it might have been something from our good friends at Hoblet Dodge. Where right now, the Jeep celebration events going on. You can save big on your next off-road adventure. When you get 15000 off MSRP on remaining new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Sport Rubicon and Mojave's. Hey, you take your pick. My wife's got a Jeep. She loves it. And those Gladiators are huge. Everyone I talk to loves them. I'm, I'm talking about the Jeep Gladiators, not like, you know, Russell Crowe. You get one. 16 to choose from. And Hoblet's here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why there's not a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or fees at Hoblet. You get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. Just five minutes from the airport, right there in Woodland. Savings can't last long. Don't miss your chance during the Jeep celebration event to say big with Hoblet. See their full selection at HobletDodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. It's allergy season. Are the Kings allergic to 11 games over 500? Going for it again tonight. We'll talk about that next. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! San Francisco! 
goes all on his shoulders. Fox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Sacramento weather is brought to you by AutoAccident.com. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're looking at a cool start to the day. Heading into the afternoon, we will be bright and a bit breezy. Expect those north winds about 5 to 15 with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. When the unexpected happens, trust AutoAccident.com. Loyalty and compassion set them apart. They're with you every step of the way autoaccident.com that's autoaccident.com ever since we got xfinity we have wi-fi all over the house even in my hiding spots ha found ya how that's wall-to-wall wi-fi from xfinity now through march 21st get started with 200 megabit internet for 25 dollars a month for two years with no annual contract and get wi-fi equipment included go to xfinity.com call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account restrictions apply taxes and fees extra after promo regular rates apply to internet service and wi-fi equipment actual speeds vary taste on a whole new level at sky river casino in elk grove enjoy the height of hospitality whether you're craving an upscale steakhouse authentic chinese hot pot and dim sum or having a refreshing beverage while watching the game. Visit skyriver.com today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Right now, Mayda Chevy saves you $8,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Hampton Silverado LT Crew Cab four-wheel drives after rebate. It's a Mayda Chevy exclusive. See dealer for details. M3-3124. See all the savings at MaydaChevy.com. Together, let's drive. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Fulton Avenue to Cap City Freeway or online at HaganOaks.com. Shop Folsom Lake Kia during their spring event and save big on your favorite models. You can even buy with zero down on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. Fidium Fiber Internet has put together a heck of a lineup. It's 100% fiber internet. You get a dedicated connection and lightning fast upload and download speeds up to two gigs. Plans start at just 25 bucks a month so everyone can join in the action. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Nature Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. Michael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. You'll be happy to know, Jason, that came downstairs yesterday afternoon. And I see my wife and my son in the living room with a laptop and a yellow pad. They were discussing their March Madness picks. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I, at this point, I feel like your wife is leaning on Mason because Mason's been pretty yeah. tough the last couple of years. He has. He almost cashed mm-hmm. uh, at least once, I think twice. But we got to be honest here. It's it's tough in my household. Yeah. Especially for, for my wife, but my son. It's a pretty big shadow cast when your father slash husband 
is I think either tied or leading in the all time cash out pool, uh, including a championship. Like I, the ring ceremony, they were there, yeah. they were clapping and all that when I won cash. Uh, by cash, I mean you know fun for real cash, fun yeah. bucks. Uh, yeah, you're lifetime ahead in that department. I, I think I definitely am. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, think, I think, yeah, and um, easily. Also, uh, second night with dog. By oh, the way, yeah. uh, new dog, and dog is proving to be quite slippery. Uh, not like out of your hands, but she is adventurous, and she's so small that sometimes it's 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 strange to uh, she disappears sometimes, and we get worried in the house. So last night. It was Dogland on our bed, not in the crate like they should be, of course, yeah. but on our bed the way my wife insists. So Nacho's buried somewhere. Who the hell knows? Uh, Gus sleeps. Alive? Uh, alive. Okay. We Allegedly. Have a, we have a uh, dual mattress. Nacho, at some point during the night, somehow gets under our covers, goes in between the mattresses, and rolls over on her back. So she's, like, stuck in between the mattresses. Almost. She likes the feeling. You know, chihuahuas are afraid of everything. Yeah. This dog... Talk about slippery. When I went to bed, my wife was already asleep. Gus was in the little nook of her, the back of her legs, you know, like like mm -hmm. how they're bent and just kind of nooks in there. Uh, Gracie, new dog, was sleeping next to Gus. It was like a big pack animal thing. Well, apparently my wife woke up in the middle of the night, went and got some water, something comes back, and I have no idea how this happened, but she took a sleeping picture of me. Somehow the dog, <laughs> sorry you can't see this on the radio, somehow the dog new dog bur burrowed its way under the covers on my side and it I, I for lack of a better term it looks like i'm sp we're i'm spooning the yeah, dog that's what like, it looks like the dog's head is under my chin facing the other way yeah. i did not even notice dog dog was not there when i woke up this morning mm. also carpets a little bit polka dotted mm. i informed the dog yesterday if she continues to pee on the carpet it's going to be an early swim for her. Wow. Just kidding. Or am I? Mm. Maybe hot Maybe hot tub. Okay. Um, so that's that update. 11 games over 500, Jason. The magic mark. They can't do it. They can't get there. They're afraid of it. They don't want to go 11 games over 500, apparently. Or should it seem? Because they've had opportunities. They were in Cleveland. Yeah. They were 29 and 19. Didn't do it. Uh, understandable. Yeah. End of a road trip, if I remember right. And it was a good road trip. No Jimmy Butler. The Miami Heat. Uh, no Duncan Robinson. No, like, half the team. They were 33 and 23. Uh, mm. Home to the Rockets. 36 and 26. We know what happened there. Yeah. Uh, the Kings are 37 and 27. They host the Lakers tonight. They can go a season high eleven games over five hundred. And by the way, you can text us at nine one six three three nine eleven forty. From uh, Folsom Mike tonight on national TV is a statement game for no one talking about Sabonis, for Fox and Sabonis being snubbed in the All Star game for league respect. You kill the Bucks and Lakers on back to back days. That's harsh. Hmm. People have to take notice. That means something for us. The players know, and they will step up. I would only disagree with Folsom Mike in the following. Should the Kings blow out the Lakers tonight, let's say, and they destroy the Bucks and the Lakers, let's all see what happens. But my prediction is this. They will lead off the studio show in some shape or form with how this affects the Lakers. Absolutely. It 100%. Will 100 percent be how and then maybe the second or third block will be somebody saying, and we got to talk about the Kings. A couple of impressive back to back wins for them. We really it's a bonus 30, 20, and 13. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. How did that how did that make LeBron feel? Yeah. Uh, and we just kind of have to get used to that. Uh, oh, and by the way, here's your stat of the day. DeMontis Sabonis is now 10-0 and 0 against Anthony Davis. Yeah. How does that make Anthony Davis feel? Right. Whatever. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'm sometimes i aware. Uh, I, sometimes I ask myself, and I go, dude, should you just stop worrying about what the national media says and just, you know, they'll, Probably, talk, yes. they'll, they'll, they'll talk about you. 
when you win championships and what you know, everyone talks about Denver now, this, that, whatever. You just let it go. But then the other part of me is like, no, it's not fair. No, because you're going to be upset when they don't talk about them. And then you're going to be upset when they do talk about them. I'm only going to be upset when they do talk about the Kings is if when they talk about the Kings, it's all bad stuff. I want them to talk about the Kings a lot and have it be good stuff. Yeah. Sure, the Kings blew the Lakers out by 43 points, but can this last in the playoffs? Can this last in the playoffs? Uh, Somebody on the... Oh, Campeo Silva's on the YouTube chat. Guys, is this true? Kyle Draper is challenging Carmichael Davis, the popcorn man at 1140? I didn't even know that. That's like... That's one of the things I'm in the lead on that I don't even look in my rearview mirror. I haven't for years. What's the story behind that? I don't know what the story is, but I don't even think about being challenged, not just as the popcorn man of 1140, but I feel like I'm kind of the popcorn man of the city. We'll have to ask Katie about this if she knows. I think we will. She knows both of you. She knows both of us. And if she says there's a challenge there, I better step my game up. Yeah. Because uh, I, I did not know of this. Did We're going to go nuts. I had a box of popcorn last night, pounding that sucker. A box? They have the boxes in the thing. Yeah, it's Is that not enough. Um, can I say the free popcorn at Golden One isn't all that good? You can. But the paid for popcorn is amazing. The paid for popcorn is movie theater quality. The the and, and the thing is though, is that the paid for popcorn not only is it hot and fresh, but also you have the butter options at two different stations now. The free popcorn there that they have in the lounges mm -hmm. it's boxed up like pregame out of a bag so it's not going to be hot it's not going to be buttery it's just it, it you know what it does guys it gets the job done if you need to take the salty to go with the bag i had of lifesavers lollipops uh there were a couple of fruit roll-ups in there it's all fruit candy no chocolate yeah uh, it was all no i didn't do any chocolate last night didn't feel chocolatey to me it felt fruity and salty and you know what? It Wasn't that your first DJ name? Uh, yeah. Fruity and Salty, as a yeah. matter of fact. And uh, you, you know what? 34-point win came out of that. Yeah. But I did finish the popcorn. It was fine. It did was the it the assorted flavor of Lifesavers or yes. like buttered rum? Mm -mm. No, assorted fruit flavors of Lifesavers. Buttered rum. Yeah, which, I mean, you know. I get that at Amy Hardware. Yeah, give me the, give me the, give me the assorted fruit flavors. Uh, as I said, took out three rolls of those and my tummy started to hurt a little bit, which doesn't usually happen. It did. It hurt a little bit after all you ate. I don't know where it would come from. Well, I didn't mention that I did also, I hadn't eaten before I got there and I did hit up. There's a pregame sushi thing that I hit up and, uh, yeah, I ate a lot of that. I think it was the wasabi. Oh, yeah, that could be. You it. have in my stomach, you have on an empty stomach, you have wasabi, three rolls of lifesavers, and a box of popcorn. I can see why it happened. Mm -hmm. Well, think about that. We'll take a break okay. when we come back. Who's hot? Who's not? We'll recap three in the key. We got three in the key to do. It's a back to back three in the key for us. Katie will join us at 9 a.m. And, uh, you know, we try to stay off that third rail of politics, everybody. Trust me when I say this is politics for everyone as we may have a new entrant in uh, one of the parts of the presidential race. Not sure if you heard about this, but dead serious ties right into sports. We'll tell you about that later on in the program. Who's hot? Who's not next? Sweep L.A. The Kings go for the season sweep tonight against the Lakers. Here's a great steal. Malik Monk ahead to Keon Ellis. A full-blown two-hand throwdown. And the Kings have a 20-point lead as the defense has just been spectacular. The Kings and Lakers tonight at 7 on your home for Kings basketball. Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. 
Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-934-9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air. Making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more what's hot yeah hot real hot and what's not it's not good brought to you by american energy heating and air sacramento's complete heating and cooling company and second opinion partner who is hot keon ellis yeah he is go keon go love it he finished the night with seven points four rebounds and two assists but more importantly the Kings are 5-0 and oh when Keon Ellis, Ellis starts a game. When Keon Ellis El, 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 uh, starts over anyone else. Yes. Yes. And that's that's the, good. The question has to be asked. Should this be a more permanent fixture for the starting lineup? Who should ask that? Yeah, though? who should ask that? Should, you know what? Somebody should ask Mike Brown that question. Hey, Mike. Um, you oh, mentioned hey, Mike. that you guys are 5-0 hey, and oh with Keon Ellis in the starting lineup, and it feels like a lot of what he brings is pretty sustainable. Is that a change you've considered uh, making permanent? No. <laughs> oh, someone did ask. <laughs> I, I tweeted out earlier. I said, if, and I tagged him. I said, if somebody sees Kyle today, maybe smile and pat him on the back. Hmm. And the first response was somebody took the meme when Mike <laughs> Brown that. when Mike Brown brought up the laptop and says, "Remember the time when the teacher didn't like your question?" It just Mike pointing at the laptop, and they're on the laptops. Kyle. Poor guy. That, too, was the Milwaukee game. 
That's right. Yeah. Maybe maybe Kyle should get in early and just take out the end. Or, or maybe Kyle says that Mike Brown's full answer was no doubt I should do that. <laughs> and he just paused a little bit. Yeah. Who's not? Jay Crowder. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Crowder. Last night in his 16 minutes, he had zero points shooting O of O from the field. O of O. I love O, o of o, o from the field. O of O. It's also zero for zero from the three point line mm -hmm. and nothing from nothing from the from the mm. three point line. Also did have two assists and one steal. Hey, that's fine. And also uh, Ryan Cote is in the uh, uh, in the uh, the uh, YouTube chat. Uh, right. uh, by the way, last night, totally separate. I was listening uh, a little bit during uh, halftime. I had my little earpiece with me. It's the sound on the station was a little bit off. Did you guys have a different engineer last night? Not last night. No, it wasn't last night. Oh, it wasn't Ryan last night. I thought it was damn it. okay. I was going to do a whole. <laughs> Ryan was there. there two games. Ago. Two games yeah. ago. Or he's Spanish. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Because sometimes I like to flip over to that. Yeah. Yeah. I know you do. I do often. Yeah. See. But uh, Ryan's the one that will often let us know. Like he'll text and be like, "Hey, your monitors aren't flamajoming," and with the thing right now. I don't like when they don't flamajom. I don't either. <laughs> but he commented earlier that my tweet about Kyle was vague. And I was like, it's not vague if you're listening to the show, pal. Yeah, that's right. All just four hours. Just because the dude won an Oscar for sound or whatever the other day with uh, Lucasfilm. Yeah. Congratulations. Now, now. But what has he done for us today? Yeah. What 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 has he done today? And he's got a long way to catch up to loyal listener Greta Gerwig when it comes to awards. Oh. It, when is she on again? Uh, we just had her on. No, She's right. busy with Barbie Two, Electric yeah. Boogaloo. Yes, the college years. <laughs> <laughs> Three of the key. I just can. Kings and Bucks. That was really good. That was. Good. I saw that last night. My uh, oh, my my, my daughter played me uh, 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 Ryan Gosling yeah. doing I'm Just Ken. Uh, it, it's pretty good pipes. It, yes, it was okay. Oh, oh, oh wow. Rough. Rough. Him um, and Justin Timberlake were both on the uh, Mickey Mouse Club together. That's before. right. And Britney Spears. And, there was, and yeah. uh, Christina Aguilera. Yeah. yeah. And. Dilbert McGillicuddy. Yes. Yeah. And a a young Carmichael Dave. Young. I, wa I was, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. Carmichael Dave. I did the fun house part. Yes. That was pretty cool. Chris did the <laughs> living spaces. <laughs> How do we do last night, Jason Ross? Great. Back to you. Back to you. Great. Let's see how we did on our three of the key predictions. Yeah. We had fourth quarter Fox versus dame time we just wanted the fourth quarters from these two guys yeah that's all we wanted davy said lillard 10 fox 12 i said lillard 9 fox 11 chris said lillard 8 fox 13 well uh, dame had one uh, <laughs> <laughs> and fox had nine uh, dame lillard by the way honorable mention for who's not yes uh we also asked what quarter this was your uh category Dave. Yes. what quarter would demontis Sabonis achieve a double double wow we were just presuming that the guy would get a double double yep well, uh, Davey said the third. I said the second. Chris said the third. The correct answer was the third quarter. Bring it. You and Chris were correct. Yes, we were. I was a failure. <laughs> <laughs> Random stat. Dave, you said Pat Connaughton would score 14 points or more. Random. He was on pace for about 70. He had. He made his first three shots. He had seven points in under a minute when he checked in. And he ended with seven points. Seven points. Yeah. Um, still not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. I said there would be four or more technical fouls. I believe there was only one. Yeah, there was one on Malik Monk, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Like a weird technical foul. I thought Bobby Portis might get one, but he didn't. Uh, he just waved at Dave. Hey, Bobby. And uh, Chris's prediction was Chris will end the streak and win by six points or more. Levi said they would win comfortably. Okay. Oh, Wow. I don't know why I wrote six points or more, uh -huh. but when comfortably. I think you did say that. I said six right. points or more. I said comfortably six points or more. Okay. okay. Right. There you go. And I would say, Chris, well done. Well done, Chris. Yeah. They did win comfortably. Yes, they did. Uh, Kyle Draper stole a bunch of popcorn for kids and got mad when called out. So now he's coming for you, David. Ooh, what is this story? Mm, I, yeah. Is this is this corn gate? <laughs> do, we, do we have a legit corn gate? All right, recycle the music, please. John Tesh, take it away. Three in the key. Kings, Lakers, Lakers favored by one and a half at Golden One Center. That's enough to tick me off. Hope that passes on to the team because you won't like them 
when they're angry. 34-point win over the Bucks, and they think they're going to lose to L.A.? Well, they might be right, but we've still got a three in the key, Jason. Well, let's go to some, you know, we have king killers, people that come in and beat some. Malik Monk and De'Aaron Fox are Laker killers. They, they really are. are. So, Dave, we want Fox points and Malik Monk points tonight. Those two individuals. Uh, give me 34 for Fox and 22 for Malik, which means king in Arabic. Yes. It, it does. Really? Yeah, it means king in Arabic. I looked it up once. Okay. Oh, uh, Whitey used his uh, nickname for uh, Malik in the press conference last night. To Malik? To Malik. What did he do say? Do we have audio for that? We do. We'll get to that. We get to that. Oh, oh. I'm so Man, excited. So much fun. Chris just did a tease on our own show <laughs> yes. that I am now really like, I'm not tuning out. Yeah, you kind of want to stop the three. For, uh, the Yeah, uh, my ADD yeah. is like, I don't want any part of the rest of this, but we'll have to wait. <laughs> All right, uh, Fox, I, I already written mine in. We're close, Dave. I had 38 for him and 22. So you had 34, 22. I have 38, oh, 22. Right Chris, Fox points and Monk points. I'm going to say 35 for Fox, 25 for Malik. Okay, we're all in the Ooh, same. Can I do a category? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What will the free throw disparity be for tonight? Oh, God. You know what's funny? That was my, <laughs> that's my category. No way. I have sack free throws, Laker free throws. We've been working together way too long. Uh, I'm going to say 28 for the Lakers. Seven, 18. 18 for the Kings. 28, 18 sack. Okay. Uh, I say Lakers... 34, Kings 19. Golly. I'm going to say Lakers 30, Kings 14. I got to pick the date on this. I'm doing a, uh, I told you about this earlier. I'm being, I'm guesting on a podcast today and the subject of the podcast. I want to say it's the fifth time over the years I've done this on a podcast Mm -hmm. is the robbery of the 2002 Sacramento Kings. I didn't even realize until coming into work today when I told you that the day I picked was Kings Lakers. I'm going to be extra fired up tonight, too. Yeah. Because I don't like reliving that, right. except every other week. Yeah. <laughs> not that it's getting old, yeah. which it's not. Final uh, category. Random stat. Random stat for tonight, Dave. Uh, from the 916, did Chris mention already that last night was for the linear championship? Oh, I'm 95%. What percent is it? Uh, yeah, this person says, I'm 95% sure they kept track of it correctly. Now, that's not our bit classically. We want to give credit, but honestly, if it's the linear championship, it was I want a to midday know show. Yeah, it was a midday Damian show. And Chris, I think I'll have to check that out during yeah. the Katie interview. But I'm trying to think did the, who would the Bucks have taken it from? Anyway, I hope so. Anyway, which means the Kings currently have the belt. If that's correct, we'll yeah. just assume it is. All right. What was the final question again? Random stat. Random stat. LeBron James. Will not be on the floor from the four minute mark of the fourth quarter on. Yeah, that's right. That's what my random stat is. Okay. Uh, my random stat tonight. Um, I don't know this for certain, so I'm 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 running a risk here that's whether right, or not this is going to happen. But I'm going to say Keon Ellis is going to go to six and zero as a starter. Oh, that's a good one, Chris. I'm going to say Demonis Sabonis will have a first half double double. Okay. There we go. I hope Chris. Oh, let's see. What was yours again, Jason? Keon Ellis goes six and zero as a starter. Okay, so ranking in things that I wish, I hope happens tonight. Well, all three can happen. But I'll say number one, I want yours to happen the most. Okay, because that would mean a win. Yeah, but that also means probably Keegan doesn't play. I would trade Keegan not playing for a guaranteed win. Though. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. not, no, I, yeah. I'll, no, yeah, I love Keegan, but. I just want to say Murray. Uh, Chris. Is... We've done that last night. If Mo confu- would he have confused everybody if he went, Key on. Oh, my God. How what, many people what, would have said. That's a great Mer- point. Me- Mel. Or... Hey, oh, 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 as we go to break, uh, guys, um, update. Did I just have a brain freeze on the show the other day or did we not have Scott Moak on, who then three way called Scott Fresh Hour? Yes. And we left a message. Yes. Th- that's confirmed, right? Correct. So when I saw Scott Fresh last night after the game, he looked at me with doe eyes because he does have beautiful deep eyes. There was no message from us on his phone. He didn't know what we were talking about. So either he's a liar or did we leave that message for somebody else? 
because he Moat called some mirrors moat calling that's what i'm saying and then fresh approached me and said we might have we may just have the opportunity to get alan's baby back in later in the year okay. so the bid had gotten back to him and i explained to him that the stockton kings had thrown yeah. out an invite so the baby was the baby failed getting sent down to the G League. Maybe the baby, baby Ella can be like Jalen Slauson and have two races in one Oh, day. my goodness. And get paid overtime. Yes. That's extra animal crackers. Yeah. We'll take a break. When we come back, hey, speaking of animal crackers, Katie Christensen will join us. Analyst for the Kings. That works. We'll talk about that next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SackTownSports.com. Honeylicious taste, so a cold won't slow you down. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found you. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless blend auto pay with bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. For beginning golfers, not getting into bad habits gives you a much better chance of enjoying the game and shooting lower scores. John Howells in Golf Monthly says these mistakes should be avoided. First, know your club distances. Take your yardages not from your best or worst shot, but somewhere in the middle. And no dancing allowed. Swaying in the backswing is a common fault, which forces you to compensate in the downswing. Mastering impact. Trust the loft on the club face and don't try to lift the ball. Club face control. For right-handers, take care to set the perfect grip with two Vs between thumb and forefinger pointing to your right shoulder. Bunker shots. Many struggle here because they fail to open the club face before hitting the shot. Turn the club before you take your grip. And finally, learn how to read greens and hole more putts. Even on a miss, putts that miss above the hole offer more chance of holding the putt. Now go out and have some fun. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kyle Draper. Equip your staff with top-notch uniforms, professionally cleaned and delivered weekly to your workplace by Alsco Uniforms, proud sponsors of the Sacramento Kings Mop Crew. Our services include uniforms, towels, floor mats, mops, first aid supplies, and restroom essentials to uphold cleanliness and safety standards in your business. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, Visit ALSCO.com. Right now, Mayda Chevy saves you $8,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Hampton Silverado LT Crew Cab four wheel drives after rebate. It's a Mayda Chevy exclusive. See dealer for details. MSP3124. See all the savings at MaydaChevy.com. Together, let's drive. When accidents turn life upside down, AutoAccident.com is in your corner. Compassionate advice, loyal support, and the courage to fight for you. AutoAccident.com. That's autoaccident.com. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Yeah. 
Clock on a Wednesday. What better time? Stays with Katie. That's right. Talk to the uh, analyst for television for your Sacramento Kings. The one, the only Katie Christensen. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Let's okay. I was <laughs> there was more too. Yeah, I was waiting for something else. All right. Good morning. Yeah, you know I like to really throw. A- Wrenching it sometimes and change it up. <laughs> Not you. Uh, before we get started with the important stuff, you know, I I generally do not comment on announcers' wardrobes because of the whole stigma there. It's like, well, we're not talking about what Kyle wore. Why are we, you know, we going to ask about Katie wore? But, uh, <laughs> you know, except privately. Oftentimes, Kyle, yeah, oh, that looks good. Or, hey, baby, don't wear the orange on opening night. But wow. the, uh, that was years Three ago. Years we're ago, over that. Years. We're over that. Are we? Against the suns. Okay. Uh, was never over it. Yeah. yeah, we were. Jason and I were talking off the air, and we were just trying to figure out what the official title of last night's outfit color was, and we landed on aqua. How close were we? I mean, sure. I guess I didn't really give it a lot of thought. It uh, <laughs> it was bluish, <laughs> Tur- turquoise, uh, turquoise, uh, aqua, yeah. not right. sea foam. <laughs> no, but it was brought up in a complimentary way. Very complimentary. Wow. T- Katie, true or false? I texted you last night. I said, "Wow, that that that's a really cool looking outfit." And I won't say what you said back. But, <laughs> I but, said I look back. Yeah, that's <laughs> and he, yeah. Well, seriously, Katie, my wife, anyone, you try to give them a compliment, yeah. and it just gets tennis balled back to you. And I don't know what to do there. Yeah. I was like, not so much. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It just you yeah. didn't. You were like right to my right. I could see you. You weren't that far away. And so when I saw your message and then I text you back, I was looking at you oh, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> just kind of to see like the, the steam come out of your ears. <laughs> right. like, what am I, how am I supposed to respond? To I don't know how to respond. Yeah, exactly. Talk about putting me in the corner. I don't know. Putting baby in the corner. Yeah. I don't know what to a say. Lo- a lot of it is just to make you uncomfortable and you know, how about just take the compliment, which, because they're very I'm rare. I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad at that. I have it has right, been brought true. to my attention, yes, by multiple sources that <laughs> I'm not great at compliments. No, so that's true. I'll work on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know we're going to get into a dive into the game, Katie, but I do want to ask you. I didn't obviously was working with G Man, heard his call. I, I would love to know your reaction, your call, Kyle's call to the Andre Jackson oh. Jr. dunk. I mean, look, Kings won by a thousand, but that dunk, uh, people are still talking about that. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I, I had a big reaction. I can't remember exactly what it was, but definitely had a big reaction. I really liked that kid, and he played um, a lot more earlier in the season. Obviously, the coaching change, and and Doc has has gone with veterans like Dalinari and and obviously Pat Bev. Um, So there's some shifts there. But, yeah, I I said, gosh, we got to keep an eye on this kid because he he does play with a ton, a ton of energy and really good defensive player. And I don't know if you noticed, but he's fairly athletic. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can't tell. I think I have the Sacramento call oh. here. <laughs> Andre Jackson. Okay, what? A little tough floater. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. So it was an, Oh, is there more after that? Uh, let me see. There was more after that. All right. That. I'll keep going. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me, replay, I'll re-rack. Hold on here. A little tough floater. Oh! oh! Andre Jackson Jr. Did he? Who did he just climb to get to the top on that one? That was felt throughout the arena. I mean, everybody's looking around. Oh Oh my goodness! He didn't just have his head like his chest was out. Oh yeah! Like wow! He a hundred percent could have gone over the top. Uh, That that then they switched to De'Aaron Fox. So yeah, from our angle, and it happened so fast, I couldn't even see who it was that he went over, but. It was like dunk contest stuff, right? Yeah, obviously yeah. later we you know saw in the replay, but um, you know it's like the dunk contest where the guys are jumping over Shaq and stuff like mm. that, and like that definitely could have happened. But uh, he came in and took advantage of his minutes. Jason pointed sure. it out earlier, and we just saw it. We confirmed it during the replay. He looked like no joke. He looked like he hit his chin and mouth on the front of the rim I, he i said before i thought his nipples got up to the <laughs> rim but his 
yeah, his nipples. His, he got yes. he got he nipple length. Yeah. but depending on where they lay, yeah. but but he definitely wow. hit his chin wow. and 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 lip. Yeah. On, on the that's insane. It and, is. And, and Katie, what we were talking about is this rarely happens. It's kind of like, like I said, it's like a no hitter in baseball. It rarely happens. And we go back to Vince Carter's dunk in the dunk contest in 2000 in Oakland when he stuck his whole arm in. It rarely happens when you have a crowd, especially a road crowd, but you have a crowd. There wasn't like a huge cheer or, or, oh, I mean, you heard a couple of those. There was mumbling in the crowd for a good minute to two minutes last night where everyone, it was 18,000 people saying, what, what, what did we just, I don't understand what we just saw. Yeah. yeah and I don't, uh, there's definitely not going to be a replay of that in the arena. So they, right. they're probably, you know, was a lot of, did, what did we just see type things? Yeah, it was, it was a pretty, pretty, uh, you know, pretty cool moment for him. Absolutely. Um, so of the things that you did see from the Kings last night, obviously, I mean, that was a fantastic performance. What did you like the most of what you saw? You know, I, honestly, I think defensively, they were just so kind of connected and in sync and, and on the same page. And, you know, I watched the Clipper game for Milwaukee, the game before, and Dane came out and hit four straight threes in the like the first quarter like like halfway point of the first quarter because you know the one thing with doc now there there's a much larger focus on getting Giannis and and Dame into pick and roll action and it's like how do you how do you defend that because uh Giannis is such an athletic player and and you know big and his size and his ability to roll and put pressure on you in the paint and then Dame obviously one of the greats in terms of perimeter shooting and they were in a drop the whole night and I was like, Oh my God, what are they doing? Like, and I'm sitting there watching it going like, God, I hope the Kings don't take this approach with the pick and roll and go into the drop. And they didn't, they were really aggressive. Dame was a non-factor in that game. And, you know, it, it was kind of like, okay, they're going to concede the fact that they can't throw two, three people on Giannis at all times because there's too many great shooters. There's too many people that can hurt you. So let's, you know, try to do our best to contain him and single coverage. And then the rest of us just do a good job on our individual matchups. And, you know, it was, it was late in the game before they had a second scorer in double figures. And I, I thought just defensively, the Kings were so good. And what that is, it's like people ask questions about runs. Like how do you stop a team from going on a run? Well, you know, it, it's not about scoring buckets necessarily, right? It's, yeah, that's the obvious thing, but how do you get the buckets? What kind of buckets do you get? And like, I thought last night, the Kings did an excellent job of using their defense to create their offensive energy. And a lot of times I think with teams, especially that have a lot of three point shooters, they feel like they got to create their energy on the offensive end. And it just kind of spirals out of control for lar larger sections, portions of the game because of that. So you know, the lull, I think it was in the third quarter where the Kings kind of struggled offensively. You know, they scored 20 points, but held them to 22 was because, you know, I felt like they stopped moving the ball the same way. They were one of my keys last night was you got to drive and kick. You got to get it into the paint and you got to get those splash threes where the pass is coming from in front of you instead of, you know, the dribble in transition, pull up threes. And that was what they were getting more in the third quarter. So to me, it was just that their their defense as a whole really did a great job of creating a ton of, of good looks and, and easy flow for them and rhythm on the offensive end. Katie, the fan base is understandably a little bit broken in trying to figure this team out. I put two different polls up yesterday. Uh, one was at halftime. The Kings were up 24. You you, what? <laughs> You and your poll. Yeah, me and my poll. Thank you. Kings up 24 <laughs> at home in the third. Will the Bucks take the lead at any point? 71% of Kings fans said, yes, the Bucks will take the lead at some point. 29% said no. Now, the, the positive side is, I put up a second poll. The Kings are up 17 at the start of the fourth quarter. Will they win? 70% said yes, they will win. Mm -hmm. There was some confidence there. So they, they trusted them there in the fourth. But when we look at these patterns, lose to the Bulls, beat the Lakers on the road, almost lose to the Spurs. Beat, well, they, they beat the good team last night, which we thought they would. 
I don't know where to slot the Lakers now. Is this one of those they're going to be up for it on the second night of a back-to-back, or is this going to be a letdown game? What can this team do to break this roller coaster up and down and sweep a team that they have dominated, especially DeMontis Sabonis, Anthony Davis, for the entire year? Yeah, what is – I mean, Domas has nine dominated and Anthony Davis his whole career. I think it's like 9-0 nine nine and and now or 10, yep. 10 and up. So, yeah, something like that against them all, mm-hmm. all time, which is, is really wild when you think about it. You know, what did we say? Um, you know, I think I, I – talk to you i can't remember um but you know what do you expect going into the bucks game oh i know what it was it was our our pregame uh you know on the floor conversation with the pregame show and uh, you know like what do you expect tonight after you know that last that last game and i was like well i expect for them to come out and be highly competitive because that's what we've seen is that this team does a really fantastic job against teams that are dominant in this league like you look at the standings of the teams above the Kings in the Western conference. Now really one through um, one through six, right? The only team that has really dominated them is, is New Orleans. They're three and zero against the Kings. And then the Clippers are now two and one Kings took care of them last time. But other than that, the Kings have, have done a terrific job against top level teams this season um, with the exception of Boston. That was kind of a spanking, uh, but they have kind of spanked a lot of people at this point. Um, and, you know, I kind of look at it in the sense that this team understands that when they're facing top level teams, that it's going to take everything that they have. And when they kind of face some of the lower level teams, I don't know if it's a, I, I have to believe it's a subconscious thing where it's like, okay, like it's a battle for 82 games during the regular season. Um, some of them you don't approach in the same way. And this is, you know, this is typical. Every single team does it. Um, you, you kind of are like, okay, it's, it's not going to take a hundred percent effort tonight. Maybe it's only going to take 80% effort and that's where you kind of get in trouble. So when you look at the Lakers, I think that they're a team that you consider a top tier team just because of the franchise and the fact that LeBron James is on that team. So I think they have been a team this season that the Kings have, have given their full mental focus and physical you know, um, ability to. So I expect, even though it's the second night of a back-to-back, for it to be the same tonight. And if you look at it, I think the Kings started 0-4 in second night of back-to-backs. Um, and I think they're 5-1 and now or something like that. They've done a really good job in the latter part of the season. Um, and with the implications, obviously, in the play-in situation right now and how just brutally close the Western Conference is, you know, I think that you're going to get a good effort. Katie, another good night for Keon Ellis. Um, again, stats don't always jump out, but he's more than that. What do you see from him? What's he providing for Mike Brown? Oh, man. Uh, we had him mic'd up last night, and that was a fun thing to be able to hear him on the broadcast. And um, for him to step in and really take on the challenge of, you know, picking up Dame Lillard, and um, it, it, it was an interesting change. Obviously, you don't want Keegan to miss games because you miss a lot when he's off the floor. But I thought it was interesting that it was Keon that was in the starting lineup. Um, but I see why he, why Mike Brown chose that, and I think it was the right decision because you put him on Dame Lillard, you kind of move De'Aaron Fox off the ball a little bit, which takes um, a little, expends a little bit less energy for him throughout the course of the game. You put Kevin Herter at that three spot, which he has the size to be able um, to to move over into that position, but Keon has just been, you know, very consistent in the month of March, particularly of when he comes in defensively knowing that he has to make an impact and that's where really his impact can be felt. But because he's been playing more over, you know, the last, you know, this month or so, you're also starting to see a little bit more confidence with him offensively and he's a very capable offensive player but you see it with Chris Duarte you see it with uh, Davion Mitchell it's been the same thing as of late when you don't play for large you know segments of of the season and you might have 10 you know DNP CDs um, you know in a stretch of 12 games you don't have any flow offensively and then you come in and you're expected to make an impact well with all of those guys, Keon included, there's just more confidence and flow um, to their offensive game. But there was a couple passes that he he dropped, and we actually played some audio of him on the bench. Um, I'm talking to one of the, the coaches behind the bench about why he didn't go crazy with that dunk. And he goes, well, 
I had dropped two passes before, so I wasn't going to make a mistake again. And mm-hmm. to me, it's just, you know, again, it's timing. It's, it's, you know, time on the floor with that starting group. Um, we saw a lot of, di- a lot of different, you know, uh, groups of five last night because of the injuries and then Trey Lyles went out in the game. So I, I really applaud that second unit. They have been so, so solid. And obviously Malik Monk kind of heads that, that whole thing. And Trey Lyles is wildly important. And so, you know, all of the other guys, it's really hard as a guy coming off the bench because you have to find a way to be impactful in short amount of minutes um, when you're coming in the game cold. So Keon got the, the chance to start. And I thought he's just, you know, he's, he's being very consistent and, and his minutes are, they're positive when him with him on the floor. Just me. I didn't bring my glasses last night. Is it just me or with a little bit of a facial hair adjustment? Like I, uh, it was it Jalen Slauson and Chris Duarte. Like they could be cousins. Does anyone else notice that, that they kind of, Oh like, yeah. At the beginning of the season, I'm like, I'm going to get these two mixed up. Seriously. Even like Colby Jones. Yeah, Colby Jones, too. Like, yeah, with the three yeah. of them were on the floor together, it's like the Spider-Man meme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the three of them. But it's like, as you're around them a little bit more, mm. um, like, it's so easy for me to point out, even without seeing, you know, jerseys. Yeah. Um, like, I, I can point that out easily now. But at the beginning of the season, I'm like, oh, my God, which one is this? <laughs> like, it's mm. so true. There's three that they're kind of, you know, look like they could be brothers. Uh, a couple people on the chat line, you know, you, you know, this on our chat line, especially YouTube, your fan base is absolutely uh, without a doubt that maybe the strongest anywhere. They love you. Uh, and <laughs> oh, and I, you. I was at the game, so I didn't hear this. Otherwise you would have gotten a text. Cause I love those yeah. Katieisms. It's not a Katieism. It's a live TV thing where you're, <laughs> You got a producer in your ear. You're looking at a stat sheet. You're trying to follow. You're trying to chart. Like I chart every single possession, yeah. So that I can of how many you know, stops in a row, how many baskets they've made, um, turnovers, that kind of thing. What kind of turnover? Like I chart all that stuff. So this game happens so incredibly fast that there's times where I look down real quick to chart the, the play, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I just miss? So um, I, I do not doubt that I said you know, that backwards. Well, and, and, and being at the game and, and, you know, she was saying she was, I was just to her right looking over. I'd look at Katie sometimes during the breaks or whatever. And uh, I, I forget sometimes. What? Stop stalking me. You were looking at me first. Anyways. <laughs> so I, I look over and, you know, just say, you know, say hi or whatever. See, see what's going on. Moke's there. She's there. Uh, Jody was there on, on the line, as I said earlier. And, and Katie, you are what people miss on the TV is like, when they go to break, I swear, like literally half the breaks, if not more, you are so animated and I want so badly to know what you're saying, but whoever you're talking to, I'm, I'm assuming it's Roe or, or, or somebody in your ear, but yeah, you, sure, you're yeah. doing hand gestures and like the whole thing, like a maestro or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was unaware of that, but yeah, you know, that's, that's also. <laughs> That's kind of how I talk in general. That is true. Um, I, it's the only reason it's not happening during the game is because I'm charting, probably. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I'm working with Kyle, and, you know, he's extremely animated during the game. Do you guys um, ever accidentally uh, hit each other with your hand gestures during the game? No, but I, I definitely have, like, hit Mark before and, like, grabbed him. But it was like a oh-my-God play, right? Um, but, no, Kyle, I think Kyle is up to three tears now this season that he's broken. Yeah. Three what? Tears. Really? Yeah. Seriously? That's when there's a crazy play, he jumps out of the table he, or out of the chair and he knocks the table. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kyle. The thing with, with both Mark and, and Kyle. And I don't know if it's a personality thing um, with play by versus analyst or whatever, but uh, Dave, you guys know me really well. I'm very meticulous and OCD. So when you look at my table, I have my first perfectly laid. I don't have a bunch of uh, papers. I, I want to be able to easily access everything. I've got everything in its place. And you look up at Mark and, and Kyle's, you know, section in front of them. And it looks like a bomb. List. And <laughs> you know, half the time I'm taking the the notes from our statistician and I'm throwing them in the garbage, or I'm taking, you know, the the stat sheets from the, you know, that we compile throughout the game, and I'm throwing away tea bags and I'm throwing away, you know, like all the, the stuff that is just like building up next to me. And I'm like, I don't know how they function. I truly don't. And that's just, it's, 
the difference between, you know, personalities, I think, but it's, uh, yeah, it can get a little crazy over there for sure. And I definitely have hit some people before. Um, someone else brought up and you would be able to answer this. We know Dave is famous for his uh, love of popcorn. Um, is there something going on with Kyle and popcorn that you can address? Somebody said he's challenging me for like popcorn cake. Dude, a Mark is the popcorn king. I mean, he might have three boxes during the course of the game, and he he considers himself a popcorn connoisseur um, because he he obviously is in all the arenas a lot, especially with his ESPN stuff. And so he's eating popcorn at every arena, and he swears swears that uh, yeah, that the Golden One Center has the best popcorn. But last night, Kyle did have some big bag of like cheddar popcorn and like a big old bag of candy like i have no idea what that was or where it came from uh, but it did disappear before the game started this will not this will not stand mark and kyle wow yeah Yeah. we're gonna have a popcorn throwdown yeah i mean i may not i may i'm i'm not quick but i can last a long time when it comes to eating a ton of popcorn you have staying power. I have stamina. <laughs> yes. I have, I, have, I have popcorn eating stamina. Okay. <laughs> I'm not like hungry, hungry hippo, yeah. but like I can, I can. All right. Last thing, Katie, uh, before we let you go here. Uh, hey, what, what say we talk politics real quick. Are you okay with that? Sure. Okay. Uh, did you hear that your guy is on the short list for the vice president position? For, uh, yeah. old- oh my God. What in the world? <laughs> Now, everybody relax before we get into this. Is that, we're not getting pulled. This nothing to do. I don't care if you love or hate. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. But Aaron Rodgers is on the short list, apparently, for Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s uh, running mate on the independent presidential ticket. I guess my first question is, if he's planning, on, he's supposedly going to, I mean, he almost played in the, the he could have played in the last game. So it sounds like he's going to be healthy. My only legitimate question is this, not that you'd know the answer, Katie, I don't, but if if that were to happen, if it was a Kennedy Rogers 24 ticket, like, does the dude play and campaign? How How is this going to work, Katie? Are you really taking this seriously? Well, I'm saying it's, I mean, it's, it's a real kind of, story. This is kind of a general theme of politics. These days. Are we taking it seriously or are we just living in a terrible nightmare right now? I, 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 um, yeah. I, I, listen, Aaron Rodgers, I freaking loved that man. He was a Packer. I'm a Packers fan, obviously. I have mad respect for his game. But, like, I don't know. I haven't seen, like, a pack of Kool-Aid in a long time. I think it's all in his possession. He's drank all the Kool-Aid. He's all off on some kind of weird. I, I can't even I can't even go he's there. He's not the man you remember. Uh, no, he's not. He's, he's, he's changed. He's changed. It's not the Aaron we knew. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that last night, and it was with some of the PR people from the Kings. And I was, I just, I, I saw it, read it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And they're like, "What?" And I was like, "Did you see the the Rogers thing?" And I was like, yeah, everyone was talking about it. So mm. yeah, I don't really take it seriously. I don't care if he campaigns. Uh, I don't think that. that I don't know that it's ever going to get to that point. But who knows? Maybe it'll shock all of us, and we'll. We'll finally see can i put someone on the ticket can i put harrison barnes on the ticket i would yeah. vote for barnes or something put, like put him on the top of the ticket i'm voting for him swear yeah. to god <laughs> harrison barnes that. barnes 24 hey how about barnes murray 24 yeah can you, yeah. Ma- can you imagine the rallies Keegan yeah. murray. very short speeches right very <laughs> very, very, very um uh, vote for us yeah. thank you a good job like, are we gonna do this right now yeah, or yeah that'd be okay. great yeah. I-, I got wiggle i got practice uh, by, by the way, one of our listeners saying they gave Kyle the cheddar, or they pronounced it chatter, chatter popcorn for his afternoon snack. So maybe that's a little bit inside baseball there. Okay. We'll find out. We'll, have, right. to, we'll have to talk about this. Kyle and Mark popcorn yeah. connoisseurs. Coming up later on the drive. Coming up later yeah. on the drive. We'll discuss the popcorn habits of uh, Kyle <laughs> and Mark. And has Katie finished all of her homemade dog food preparation? We'll get to that shortly. My goodness. By the way, I, I'm going to finish with a personal question. Did Jade end up finishing her chicken nuggets? Because that was hap- that was happening on the phone the other day, and she was there. Oh, there, there was a little bit of an argument about dinner, and Katie said, okay. "Go back and finish your chicken nuggets, and then we can talk about the candy or whatever." This and child is like a candy monster; like all she wants right now is candy. And so, as a parent that is desperately trying to, 
deal with eating issues and all that. Like it's always incentive. Um, but it's amazing how she miraculously will drop at least one chicken nugget on the floor and the dog will eat it. Like, Ooh, Smart I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. So she's, I'm, I'm, I'm not dealing with an amateur. No, uh, <laughs> no, because but. I heard on the, I heard on the phone call. The one thing I did hear towards the end of the phone call with Katie was, and I quote, fine, give that nugget to Dolly. Don't waste it. So that, <laughs> that, that's just feeding into her hands. Katie, you've got to be honest. All right, that's Katie Christensen, play-by-play voice, or excuse me, analyst of uh, your yeah, Sacramento. Right, play-by-play Please. voice of her world, uh, privately, analyst publicly of the mm-hmm. Sacramento Kings. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. Have a wonderful week. Congratulations on the Aqua outfit, and we'll talk to you <laughs> soon. Okay, bye. bye. That's Katie. We'll take a break when we come back. What to watch tonight. We'll clean up the rest of the program, and uh, then we got a little bit of crosstalk. Yeah. Alice Watkins, celebrity birthdays, and more. Don't miss the final half hour of the program now. Sweep L.A. The Kings go for the season sweep tonight against the Lakers. Here's a great steal. Malik got ahead to Keon Evans. A four-on two-hand throwdown. And the Kings have a 20-point lead. The defense has just been spectacular. The Kings and Lakers tonight at 7. On your home for Kings basketball. Stacktown Sports and the Stacktown Sports app. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Got to keep it going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Can, can he do it? Yes. There's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer. The Kings franchise. He's got 45. Never miss a moment. Sacramento Kings basketball. Backdown sports. And the Backdown sports app. Actually help if you any attention to anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800 934 9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by the I got my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes. It was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles, all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Brakes? We can save you 15% on that. We have OE quality Duralask brake pads and rotors in stock, ready for pickup or delivery. We also have calipers, brake fluid, tools, and anything else you'll need to do the job right. When you get Duralask pads and rotors together, you'll save 15%. It's just part of what makes us America's number one brakes destination. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Febreze Friday. Spray day. The occasional deep cleanse are nice, but in between, you know I need a refresh. Oh, here she comes with the Febreze Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them arm rest. Don't be shy. Nothing like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. 
Don't forget my back. Nice. Febreze fabric spray. It's just that easy. Now we can both breathe happy Febreze. La, 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 la. Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high-performance technical workwear. Cintas can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. And with the Cintas Workwear Program, you get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how Cintas can boost team image and morale. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. What was that? That is business going to be much loud consciousness to handle our voice, video, and messaging needs. You sound very calm and young. Uma has everything I need for my business more efficient than virtual receptions, call audio and video conferences. If it starts at just $19.95 per month for users, plus taxes and fees. Ooh, well, nice. Find your business com at uma.com slash radio. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art Support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. Bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hip, lower back, especially if the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. And that results in a lot of tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arm supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a pre-fitting and test walk. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline of Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda check. Waking you up with the best in local sports. It just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Big news out of the soccer world. You never hear that. Uh, Killian Mbappe, who is uh, a super duper star. I'm skinny. would be an awesome nickname for him, though. I'm skinny Mbappe. Get it? Got on Hanson. He's doing a kebab shop Hansen. owner. Hanson. Remember Hanson? You're going after Jason's favorite song ever. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know what? You're I mixed that up with Bob. You're absolutely right. I apologize. I thought that was your, one of your, oh, coming back with Pearl Jam. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, no. Skinny Bob. That was Skinny Bob. Bob runs Skinny Bob. 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 Blows me away. Yes. I got that wrong. Uh, apologies sorry. to uh, Brett Michaels and friend. Uh, so, uh, Killian Mbappe is suing uh, a kebab shop owner for using his name in the description of one of his sandwiches, Muhammad Hani. Uh, an influencer based in Marseille and well known in the football world in France, soccer, has opened a kebab shop. The description of his kebab is that it's made with a quote, baker round bread as round as Mbappe's skull. And he is a Marseille fan with 1.8 million followers on Instagram, received a certified letter seen by ESG this morning from Mbappe's lawyer on behalf of the company created by the player to deal with. Sponsors. The letter demands that he remove the name of Mbappe from his menu within uh, eight days before taking the court for using his name without his consent for commercial purposes. Which number one tells me he has eight three days to use his name. That's pretty good. <laughs> the influencer, clearly shocked by Mbappe's action, re- reacted to it on his Instagram account. And said, and I love how like, I don't know if this has got to be a translation because it just doesn't sound like a real sentence. Are you not ashamed? You have nothing else to do? Suing me for something so futile, it is incredible. I can't believe it. Dimitri Payet, uh, uh, the uh, former Marseille and West Ham star, uh, is currently playing at Vasco da Gama. Uh, he's also part of both of the description of the rape as loaded as Payet. So, if you were going to have a food named after you at a local team near the Golden One Center uh, establishment, what would it would you want it to be like the Ross ribs? Uh, would you? What about um, Jason's jambalaya? Jason's jambalaya is pretty good. The uh, oh, I've got it. I've got it. The no, he didn't. Yes, he. 
Oh, wait. Nope. That doesn't matter. You don't have it. I don't have it. What uh, were you going with? Well, for some reason, I in my brain, it was, no, he didn't. Yes, he can. But what would that have been? Yes, he can only. What it would have been. Yeah, but that doesn't work. What starts with did? Did, did. No, he did. No, I want to play off that line. Digits. Chicken digits. Chicken digits. Oh, by the way, chicken digits sounds disgusting. It does. But I why are, to eat them ever? Why are fingers okay? I don't know. We're used to it. That's exactly right. Should, hey, can I get some ranch and barbecue with chicken digits? With nuggets? Fine. Fingers? Fine. Chickens don't have nuggets. I know. I don't think they have fingers either. So they have digits. I think that's actually more accurate than nuggets or fingers. They also, well, I guess they do have legs. Also, guys, guys, for chicken nuggets or fingers or digits or digits, I'm not saying it's the preferable. I'm not saying it's number one on the list. I'm just, just a simple question. Is ketchup in a jam an acceptable dip response? Yeah. No. I say yes. I say no. What about for fish, uh, fish sticks? Sure. <laughs> you like fish sticks? South Park has completely ruined that, dude. Fish sticks is ketchup. And stuff. I mean, tartar sauce is preferred, right? I guess. I can't even remember the last time. I, I was just going to say that probably at least 20 years. I think we have, like, uh, I think every family has a package of Gordon's fish sticks in their freezer. We probably do. I just can't remember the last time I had a fish. He doesn't have a beard on your box. Uh, the Gordon's fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? What was this? Oh, you wait. Does that count? Fish sticks. I could eat fish sticks. I've never had fish sticks. Wow. I'm going to bring some in. With? With potato with salad. Potato salad. Pastrami slicer. A pastrami slicer and the Yodana. And the dog. And the dog. And the dog. And the, um. All, not the golf spikes, the oh, the garden spikes. Yeah. Well, what would I do when I bring those in? I don't know. Why did I ever say I was trunk. bringing in the golf? By the way, this year, mm -hmm. garden spikes. Took the year off last year. Oh, it's back on. It's back on yeah. every two years. Okay. We're gonna be hitting the. the Is wall. that the rule? Uh, that's what I read okay. in the thing. So when do you uh, put them on and walk around? About a month. About a month. Yeah, because we're gonna start our garden stuff here. Uh, the the, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you grow your garden in the spring. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're doing uh, we're doing tomatoes, peppers. You know, I'm always looking for new stuff. You won't let me grow corn because apparently it's too aggressive. Sustainable. Uh, Lakers Kings tonight. Sacktown Sports. 7 p.m. is uh, your first uh, pitch. Uh, Nuggets at Heat. The yeah. final spring match. Yeah. Cavs and uh, Pinnacles. And uh, the Warriors Jason, take on those hated Dallas Mavericks. We were on that one. You got sausage arms and cankles. I think at this point we're double really, loss. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe a tie. Yeah. Uh, I think I think we kind of. By the way, everyone's saying the sound sounds weird. There's apparently an echo, a sleeping filter sound. Mm. Uh, very descriptive. Yeah, very very descriptive by people here. So uh, we'll try to work on that during the break. That might just be a thing. Yeah. Maybe it's 11:40 in Canada, dominating us. When we come back. Cross talk, celebrity birthdays, and more. Styles and Watkins join us on your home at the King's Act. Harrison Barnes plays here. Harrison Barnes drives it, handles it. The Black Falcon soaring into the light sky on a Monday evening in Northern California. Sound Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ah, uh, found you. How? That's wall to wall Wi Fi from Xfinity. Now, through March 21st, you've started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1 800 Xfinity, or visit a store today. For course, people spend auto pay with bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rights apply to internet service and Wi Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento area sewer district, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. 
What's going on? We're talking to Chad Hoblin of Hoblin Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Woodland. Chad, what's going on for Ram Truck Month? Right now, save up to 16500 off MSRP on new 2024 Ram 2500 Laramies. One of the nicest, most capable trucks you can buy with the biggest savings of the year. This is huge, and we have over 200 available. Okay, so why choose Hoblet? We do things a little different here at Hoblet. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or hidden fees. And we've become California's number one new Ram truck dealer. At Hoblet, you'll get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. If you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 60500 total net savings after 10500 factor rebates and 6000 dealer discounts. Rebates include 1000 case construction rebate. Must have purchased qualifying new case equipment from an authorized case dealer and 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be a member of qualifying first responder association. 10 at the net savings to dealer for details. Hey guys, do you know your team level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step for better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation, and kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, local owned and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba Pro Masters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729 or visit us at powercopiers.com. Birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than freshly baked and home-delivered crumble cookies. It's time for the news of the day. The latest headlines, the biggest stories, hard-hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael Dave and Jason Ross. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know that I've ever asked this question before, but a lot of times Alan and uh, Watkins will come in at or near the beginning of, uh, or after the beginning of uh, a broadcast. Yeah. Like, where are you guys? What do we do back there? Like, what, what room are you in? Uh, we're there. out there in the pit. Mm. And then, like, are you guys like jamming so much stuff into whatever you know, that, like, like you're like, oh god, cross talk, and you're like running down the hall. You got a lot of. Jam. Sometimes people will try and talk to us, like right at like, nine. You ever just put a finger up to their face and say, "Can't right now, cross." Talk. Um, brought to you by Carpet. I'll just point because yeah. you know we play throughout the station. I'll just point mm-hmm. up and say, mm-hmm. "Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah." Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Dave, we were talking about this earlier. I think you should hear what Malik Monk had to say about the franchise record for assists off the bench. Uh, should we? Uh, I've got it here. Oh, you have that? Oh, please, please, please. yes, please go ahead. King of the Kings, you uh, you clearly are a much better I point did. guard I than did. than uh, a lot of people realize. The more point guard you've played while you've been here, do you feel like you've gotten better at playing point guard? Um, more comfortable. I want to say better um, because I had the ball in my hands my whole life. Um, I just got way more comfortable um, in the decision making and reading the NBA court. All right. So, which is more embarrassing? That question? No, I meant like being in the Kings addre- addressing that one. Yeah. Okay. I actually thought Whitey pulled it off. Yeah. He said it before. He said yeah, it we did that. Yeah. Okay. I would want to see Whitey and Malik hang out for a day. Oh, I not to be a not to be an eight thirty PM Thursday night show on NBC. I think, Malik would really, I think Whitey would really enjoy Malik. Yeah. 
Uh, so uh, that or uh, what our nominee for question, nominee for question of the day. Mike, um, you mentioned that you guys are 5-0 and with Keon Ellis in the starting lineup, and it feels like a lot of what he brings is pretty sustainable. Is that a change you've considered uh, making permanent? No. Oh, man. Former friend. Former. Massive enemy. Now. Hmm? You see him today, Pat him. It's going to be a tough play for him. Uh, I think he'll be. Yeah. You think he'll be fine? Don't, uh, listen, don't listen to his show. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, speaking of the media room. Were you there yesterday? Uh, huh? Were you there? You weren't in the building. I was in the building. Yeah. I've never, I've never been. I, you still haven't been in the media I've room. Never been in the media room. Really? Not once. No, not even on the tour before the open. Is he welcome? No, yeah, it was okay. I don't know what happened. Yeah. There's popcorn in there. What, is there? Is yes, there? yes, there is. Cookies, food. Yeah. What? Water, soda. No way. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. But no. Anyway, good, uh, good win last night. Great win. Maybe. It, Colody? Talk about uh, what was your? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The, what would, no, what no, was no. Co- uh, what was, was it? Colody. Colody? Com- what, what did you say? Was it, Col- it was M. Clody. M. Clody. M. Clody. <laughs> most complete. <laughs> most M. Clody. Yeah. yeah which sounds like rolls. something from Star Wars. That's right. <laughs> yeah. M. Clody, like fire the M. Clody laser. Yeah. yeah. Or or, or, or it's an yeah. alien yeah. type of person. Yeah. We say alien. We say French from other planets. Right. How are you? We have news for you. The other day we were talking about your child. Which I'm sure is super comfortable for you. And uh, we had Scott Moak on. We were trying to get an invite back uh, for young Ella. And uh, we got three-way called Scott Fresh Hour, and we left him a message. Well, I saw Fresh last night after the game. He had news for me, but I said, well, first, you know, sorry about that message. We tried to get you. He didn't know. He knew nothing about what I was talking about leaving him a message. Okay. So we think maybe Moak called the wrong person. They have a really weird message. <laughs> but then Fresh told us. That he this bit had gotten back to him. I informed him that Stockton Kings reached out to you because Ella's been sent to the G League yes. to, to get her act together. That's right. And Rush says they think they've got a uh, a spot for you. So maybe Jason pointed out it might be like a Jalen Slauson situation where maybe Ella pulls off the baby race. That's right. At the the Stockton game, mm-hmm. and then later that same day, two in a day, two in a day, Ooh, <laughs> real doing real that. pro. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, prepping, prepping for the long haul. We are not doing that. Yeah. Well, that Coach got, is losing interest. Wow, that got shot down <laughs> real quick. That's wow. right. I was just like, nope, we're not doing that. We're, we're moving on to bigger and better things. What if first prize was $400,000? Would you do it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Like, well, let's <laughs> get a sponsor. <laughs> now we know. It's all Jiffy Lube. Or yes. from a cookie. There is or a dollar figure. They uh, bring us celebrity birthdays. Oh. Back to be spent with family and friends. <laughs> Listen, nobody, and I mean nobody, Family and friends together more than crumble cookies. Real quick, let me see if there's anything more to crap today. It's been a rough week for the uh, National Dermatologist Day. Okay. Um, National Coconut Tort Day. It's not Coconut Pie Day. Coconut Tort. All right, guys, that looks like pie to me. It looks like coconut cream pie. Yeah. Uh, National Good Samaritan Day. That's good. Uh, National Earmuff Day. It's an interesting. Are those picture. earmuffs on a dog? Uh, sure. Earmuffs is. on a dog. Okay. Uh, and finally, this is a great one: National Registered Dietitian Nutritionist Day. It's the second Wednesday every March, guys. <laughs> you ever tell your kids the earmuff? Uh, where yeah, you I physically fly. do the earmuffs, unless you're watching a King's Bucks game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you off the air. I yeah. said something at the Milwaukee one when Dame hit that shot. I was yeah. telling them yesterday. I said I, I invited the Kings teams to team to participate in something that is not a good out loud sentence mm. and i said that in front of my kids and i caught myself real quick like dad is just showing you what not to say it's right. a bad thing to say yeah. and then they'll be in the they're too old to be in the baby races i think mm. i see Avery just would that be interesting adults crawling in a race i think that would be We'll be introducing baby yeah. races next year in Huddersfield Town. And okay. Mo pointed out to me that the average temperature in Huddersfield Town during the season is about 16 degrees. So it might be a frozen that's baby Celsius, race. right? Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's whatever in Fahrenheit. There's about Celsius. Liberty birthday. Happy birthday today to Common. Says uh, Common, uh, Common 51. Uh, Common is 50. He's actually 53. 55. He's 54. The correct answer is 52. They're all around it. Almost nailed it. Uh, happy birthday, Jack. 
Mickelson. Arlo. Correct. Wow. Yeah, Arlo. Mm. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to get that one right. Uh, Jack is 29. Yeah. 28. So he's 26. You know, what can think that uh, Jack Carlos <laughs> can? I'm going to say 26 as well. Huh? Uh, because we have a correct answer. 26. Oh, 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 wow. wow. Oh, oh, president of the fan club. Yeah. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to former King Tristan Thompson. Uh, He's legend. 37. He's still in the league. He's a dirty he's cheater. cheater. Uh, no, he's suspended. Well, that's right. Yeah. But he's technically yeah. is. not playing. Yeah. He's still, yeah, he, he's 30, 36. 38. Yeah, 37. 35. Well, the closest 33. What? <laughs> he's got more years to play. <laughs> Happy birthday, Coco. Beware. Goff. Goff. Coco Chris. Beware. Great poll, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coco Goff. Uh, Coco Goff. And she's actually younger than you. She's 21. I don't know if she's that. Uh, I'll say 23. 22? She's 21 last year. Right there. Oh, wow. Interesting. Her age today, actually, I thought was... I thought she was younger. She's 20. I thought wow. she was still a teenager, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so she's 20. Uh, happy birthday to former king, Karan Butler. Tough juice. Yes. <laughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> He's 50. 49. 45. 47. Chris Watkins, the closest, 44. I have to do this one for Carmichael Dave. You should know this. Happy birthday. Oh, I don't. Will. Wow. I know. Will Clark, you're a hero. Yeah, you Chris is a bigger Jack exactly Harlow fan right. than Dave is a Will Clark That's fan. That's just a fact. Uh, if you were more than two years off, I'm really disappointed. You're a hero. I think Will Clark is 58. <laughs> 59. Well, not everybody can be Jack Harlow after. 61. Chris Verlod, the closest. It's a big 6-0. Yeah, I was two years off. Barely, barely. Number 22, the best to ever do it. For Katie, for <laughs> Jim West, uh, for Jack Harlow, for uh, Emma's dad, for Christopher Emma. Laud, and what I say, Emma? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's an Emma. No, I, sure. no I don't know. We just met a few months ago. Well, his dad, for uh, Christopher Laud, <laughs> for uh, Purple Shirt, I'm Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I threw my, I threw my no, stuff away. Yes. What friend are we talking about? Oh, wait, hold uh, on. I know. This is, um, yeah, it's Hoblet. Is it Hoblet? Is this Hoblet's music? No. No? Not on my sheet. Uh oh. And by Hoblet, we mean American Energy. This is going great. Let me tell you, I don't even, you know, I don't need it. Because yeah. right yeah, now, listen, American Energy, uh, I don't know if you know this, they are your second opinion partner, Chris. Uh, so here's the deal. If you, by the way, do you have a competing uh, endorsement going right now with this? Okay, no. so I can talk. Um, yeah. Here's the deal. Let's say maybe you got in. Uh, well, you know, if you were, you know, I wouldn't yeah. want to do 